Yeah, you never, <laughs> you know, never know. know. All right, I'll be back right after these. Henry Hill's on the phone. He wants to tell us he's going back to jail. Really? That's what he says. Henry Hill, for those of you who don't know, especially our fans in Detroit now, all three of them, we just started there yesterday. That's right. Uh, Henry Hill is the guy, if you saw the movie Goodfellas, he's the real deal. He's the real guy who, like, you know, was the mobster and stuff. And he's the guy the movie was based on. Right. And now Henry has been in seclusion because he's been in the witness protection program. But every once in a while he calls us and gives his location. Yeah, he surfaces. Defying the mafia to kill him. <laughs> Good morning, Henry. Good morning, Robin. How are you? Hey, Henry, you know who I've become somewhat friendly with? Ray Liotta. I saw him on a plane the other day. Did you? Yeah, I mean, we had a nice conversation. Lovely guy, isn't he? Yeah. Real nice kid. Yeah, you know, he's so lovely, I didn't want to whack him. <laughs> <laughs> did, he give you the, did he give you the famous laugh? Uh, no. You do it. <laughs> no, he, he, he's got it down better than me. Yeah. So what's going on, Howard? How... how, how, how when you, uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Henry, uh, we, we're fine. Yeah. You know that. What, you what is your problem? No, I'm not drinking. Really? No, that's why they're sending me back to prison because I, you know, I'm supposed to urinate uh, for my parole officer. Every right. So often. <laughs> yeah. And you won't do it? Well, she's a female, number one. Right. Now, what's going on? Are you really going to jail? Uh, honest to God, they, they got a warrant off. I, I got to tell myself then. Are you serious? What happened? What, what because, I, because I missed the test. Uh, yeah, but you're in a witness protection program. I know it. I good. guess he's also on probation. And what's uh, the matter with you? Of course, take a urine test. Yeah, but uh, you can't. I, I, Why? Because you're on drugs? No, I wasn't on drugs at all. I had I had t just tested the, a few days before for her. You know, she's on a campaign, I guess. What? They can randomly test you anytime they yeah, want. So, Absolutely. and where were you? I was at home. So then, why, why are you saying that you wouldn't uh, urinate? Well, you mean she she asked me to, she asked me to urinate, and uh, I wasn't able to do it at that moment. Oh, oh. Henry! So she, not, honestly, so she so she hung around for about an hour, and I still couldn't. So she says, make sure that I come into the office that day. Yeah. And I got busy, and to be perfectly honest, I forgot. <laughs> If somebody is asking you, your freedom depends on it. Do you forget? Mm. Uh, well, hey, at least you didn't get angry and put an ice pick in the back of her head. No, you know, I, you know, yeah, it shows I, you've I, matured. But I mean, you know, it's. A, it's but what well, are you going to do, man? How long do you have to go to prison for? Oh, I don't know. Probably thirty, sixty, ninety days. Wow. She says it up to a year. She can give me. Wow. <laughs> you know, and she might do that. And whatever happened with your kid? Did you get custody? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. I don't know why you brought that up. Well, I didn't think you would. No, that's uh, I think not a fact. The judge got uh, well. What did the ju What happened? Uh, he he he, uh, he started. Uh, he sailed into me and all about. They went. They went. They went back to stuff in 1960. What about all the killings and stuff? Yeah, all all the, <laughs> the homicides. Yeah. You know why does the judge have to bring that up yeah. at a custody hearing? You know he knows he's going to ruin it for you. What are they out to get you? Yeah, you're yeah, right. You know, I mean, you've reformed. I mean, so you killed a few. Well, you, you didn't kill anyone. You. I was there. You were there. I was there. <laughs> so you didn't say anything. Right. <laughs> now, I mean, a lot of people get scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what happened? You went to. So does the black family still have your kid? No, they. You want to know something? They moved. My, they moved my poor son the next day. Where to? After that thing aired. He's in witness protection. <laughs> they, 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 they have him in a place, and they won't even tell me where he is. Well, you what happened? You can't see him at all. I see him for one hour a week. Wow, he's probably with the Chinese now. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you mean? Remember, he was with the black family, and they were dressing yeah, him up in what? purple suits and stuff. Mm hmm And they were like, you know, he was being raised as a black child. Yeah. But Henry's, you know. No offense, Henry, you know, mafia guys. They don't think, particularly like their children being raised black. Yeah, they don't even like black. <laughs> so, I mean, to, to be raised as a black child is absurd. <laughs> Especially the kids. I mean, if, if anyone would have told Henry family, that... The family was a very wonderful family. Yeah, I understand that. But, you know, I know I'm reading between the lines here. The worst thing well, you could do... yeah, it was Henry who told us about the purple suit. Henry would rather take a bullet than see blacks raising his kid, He'd I He'd take an ice pick to the back of his own head. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, Howard, I think you're wrong there. I mean, it was, really? they, they were a wonderful family. Really? You know, but but didn't it bother you like when they would dress the kid up in like purple? They take him to church. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I went to the church. You know, one Sunday, you know, I, I used to pick him up there occasionally, and uh, 
than in you know South Central. Right. I mean, I had to drive South to Central. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Imagine your kid is being raised in South Central. Kidding, no, no, he, no, he did not live there. Right. He, he did oh. not live in South Central. The church was in South Central. The church was. But South even a white kid going to church with a black family in South Central is kind of unusual, isn't it? Uh. You don't often see that. Mm -hmm. I wonder why they couldn't place your kid with a white family. That's the uh, the, the, ch the the children's protective uh, services. Uh, yeah, but you know how many white families want to have uh, white children. Yeah, but no ma no white families wanted a mafia child. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they were afraid. <laughs> no. Is your kid a blood or a crip? <laughs> <laughs> Is he a tough kid like you? Hey, he, he, he had a good posse with him. Did he? <laughs> 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 okay, let's boy, <laughs> hey, dad, boy. <laughs> he, he, he must be upset though. He must be. You, you, you know your son reminds me of Tarzan. <laughs> Howard. Remember how Tarzan was the one white guy in the whole black universe? Howard. No, I'm serious, Robin. He's like Tarzan. <laughs> He's going to be stronger for it. I'm telling you, I was raised in a black community, but I had white parents. Yeah. You know, can he speak Ebonics? <laughs> can your son, like, when you speak to him, can he go like, you know, hey man, what's happening? What are you doing? A bootleary, a bootleary down. Yeah, he'll wind up to be a better boy. Yeah, he will. It'll make you stronger. It'll make you strong. Make me well, he'll be strong. able to communicate with everyone. Imagine he'll be able to talk to the blacks. Mm -hmm. He'll be like king of the blacks. <laughs> Imagine he's like Tarzan. He rules the black community yeah. from his white throne. You should have taught him that one word, Ungawa. Ungawa. <laughs> <laughs> you know Tarzan would say Umgawa and all the blacks would behave? <laughs> Did you teach him Umgawa? <laughs> Henry. So when is your movie opening? No, wait a second. Then we don't change the topic. I've seen, seen the trailer. See, he doing, really... Doing half... I mean, doing a, doing a Super Bowl. Right. What did that cost you, Howard? 1.2. Wow. 1.2. Yeah, you'll make it in the first hour. There you go. Uh, listen, I... Uh, no, no, I'm not done with you. Uh, don't what? go anywhere. I understand something here. We haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah, we're not done with you yet. Oh, <laughs> uh, please. He doesn't like when I talk about the black stuff. No, no, I, uh, honestly, I mean, they happen to be a wonderful family. Right, so you don't even know where your kid is now? So he's... he's, he's I, this is... They, they, have him, they have him hidden from me. Oh, my God. Why was that, Henry? Because you threatened to... Uh... I didn't threaten nobody. Kind of threatened. Snatch him? He, didn't, he did oh. say he was going to snatch him and take him <laughs> off to another country. But that you were depressed, that's all. I understood that. You know, that these thoughts go through your head. They're Oh, whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. Henry, Henry F-word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better learn his bonnet. The F-word. <laughs> Are you getting laid regular? No, no. I need, I, I need to give me a dollar date or something. I would put you on a dollar date. Would you? Yeah, but you got to come in here. Oh, I can't go to New York. <laughs> You're going to be in jail. You ain't going anywhere. I thought you weren't afraid of the mob. Yeah, you know, I, I have to turn myself in the next week or so. So give now, me can't the mob, can't the, in, okay? can't the mob hit you while you're in jail? Yeah, it's probably the worst place in the world for me. Right. Ah. But uh, i got to do what i got to do. Yeah. Right, you got to do your thing. Are you going to be in the general population? I don't, I don't know. Probably, right, are they going to send you to real... Discuss that, okay? Why? Because. You don't want to get hit. <laughs> you know, anyway. But would they send him to real prison or just to some, like, county... No, real prison. Oh, real prison. Yeah. You mean with the general population? Well, what, are you kidding me? If, you know, if I choose to. You could handle yourself, though. You know that. Yeah, please. No, I've seen you. I'm old man. I'm 52 years old. Yeah. Meanwhile, let's talk about that date before I go no, on. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that... You're saying that okay? You would. You, you, she showed up to, to. You showed up for your urine test. You couldn't pee. You got pee shy. Yeah. Was she hot? The, the parole officer. Yeah, it's a female. Yeah. And then uh, she said, "Come back to my office and pee in front of me." No, well, you know, pee in the bathroom. Right. And you forgot. Yeah. And, what you, and you were worried about alcohol, right? Uh, no, I got tied up there. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. You were worried busy. about... What happens if she finds alcohol in your blood? Well, then she could I mean, put in prison. She could. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, they tell her So what's about... You mean you can't have... possess alcohol or drink alcohol. But you're an alcoholic. Of course you have to have alcohol. <laughs> I mean, so that's what I try to explain to them. They don't, they don't see it my way. Yeah, I mean, that's ridiculous. I think they... You know, this is like... You might as well throw him in jail. I'm going to tell him he can drink. This guy had a screwed up background. He's and now he's an addict. He stopped killing people, which I'm glad. Mm -hmm. And now, and so he has a few drinks. Who cares? That's right. Of all of his vices, alcoholism was yeah. not the worst. He's got an addiction problem. That's all. You know, but, but for this, I gotta go. I gotta go to prison now. Why would they give him treatment? Uh, prison's not gonna cure. Well, yeah, they, they put enough money into him already. <laughs> I, I I told my parole officer, let me go to treatment. She says no. Well, believe me. 
You, well, you, there's no treating you. Trust me, you need to drink. Money. <laughs> no... He loves that booze more than he loves staying out of jail. Just kidding. No, it's it's just as strong as it ever was. It is. Yeah. You know, that's, uh, they, they own the, you know, the, they, they own the cities. You know what I mean? I hear you. The, the footprint is there. They have the, you know, you know they have the, the concrete and they have the labor. Right. You know, they have the unions and they got the, the you know, the garment center, the truck. And, they, you know, so ain't nobody going to get them out. No, I don't mess with them. No, nah, why should you? Huh. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> I'm minding my own B.I. business. I just want to have fun. That's all. That's all. You know. Let and them have all that stuff. They don't control the movies, though, do they? Well, you know, they got their hands and everything. Oh. Do they really? Uh-oh. 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 No, but not, you know, not... Not my boy. I think Betty Thomas might be in the mob. <laughs> 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 you filmed in New York. Believe me, somebody got an envelope. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe two envelopes. Hey, Henry was right about... No, really. Henry was right about... Oh, really. Henry was right about... doesn't know what's happening. Henry was right about the World Series. Yes, he was. He yeah. said it. He said the Yankees are going to win. Even when they were three down, he said That's it. That's right. He says the fix is in. And he said they're going to win by 11. Remember that? And they did. Now, Henry, why didn't you call us about the Super Bowl? <laughs> Everyone knew who was going to win that. Yeah, that, was a, that was a piece of cake. Was that one fixed? Hmm? Was that fixed? No. No? No, 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 no. no. They didn't fix the... Uh... The, the World Series was fixed, all right? No, come on. You said it was. You told us. Come on, in New York, you got Giuliani as the mayor. Come on, I'm starting an investigation tomorrow morning. Really? <laughs> Didn't you also predict the Tanya Harding incident? Uh, no, I? <laughs> Nothing. All right, listen. When do, you, when do you think you'll be in jail? Call us from there. But, oh, no, all right, but listen. Get, I, I, want, get me I was going to have you to the premiere, but I actually you'll, be, you won't be able to. you'll be incarcerated. When is the premiere? <laughs> Never mind. You'll be in Come jail. On. You've <laughs> only got a week. My and it's ticket. four weeks away. Yeah, four weeks. You're going to be you're going to be tied up. Aren't you going to have one in California? No. no. I mean, if we are, I don't know. But okay. you don't need to be there. You need to be, you need to go to jail. <laughs> you need to be as far away from us as possible. <laughs> Come on, then we'll go to Spargo's or somewhere. I'll try and get you a prison screening. How's that? Yeah, it's, that, that, that'll work. <laughs> you and your bros. <laughs> so, I, listen, I need to... Can you handle the blacks in the I, prison? I, I need a date. Can you handle the black people oh, in the prison? Please, come on. Seriously. Those are tough guys. When they, do you yeah, rub when them you go r- in, do you have to become an Aryan nation or something? Yeah, who do you side yeah, right. with? Do you hang out with just white guys in prison? I don't hang out with nobody. Yeah. I'm on my own business. I go to the library every day, and uh, that's it. You think some guys will try and take you on? Nah. I'm an old man. They don't... They don't. Really? You don't think someone's going to want your ass? Nah. Maybe nah. somebody's girlfriend? I don't think so. Really? Nah. You'll get married right away in jail. I know you. You fall in love. Nah. <laughs> you fall in love easily. Have you been in the prison before, Henry? What? Have you been in prison before? Hey, you took I mean, that rap. Yeah, sure did. Yeah, you could do time. Mm. And you keep your mouth shut. I like that. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? You're a man's man. Yeah, right. You are? Yeah. That's why I respect you. I was a... F- I was a, I was a, according to a lot of people, I'm a stool pigeon. I'm a rat, you know. Well, um, for for what I did, you know. Well, you did what you had to do. That's right. That's all. All right, look. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. What? Go ahead. Get me the uh, get Go to jail. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. But first, I need a date before I go. All right. Well, you'll get a date when you get out. No, nah, come on. Uh, and you'll come down here and we'll get you fixed up. No. Uh, get you a nice woman. Come on. Let's do dial a date. <laughs> See, I can't do dial a date if you're not here. You can't. Why can't you? This is no good. Yeah, one person has to be here. The other people are on the phone. You're going to prison. Go in prison. See if you meet anyone there. Yeah. Hey, on the way, you know, there must be some women. You think you'll have a roommate or they'll keep you in isolation? I don't know. I don't know. What happens if, like, uh, some black guys come up to you and they start messing with you? Well, they don't know who I am. Well, what if they start in with you because they uh, they see you're a white guy and you're a loner? That, it, you know, you, you carry yourself right. They don't bother you. Really? That's right. How would that be? What do you do? You bring a weapon with you? No, of course not. You just carry yourself properly and, uh, you know, and they, and they don't mess with you. Really? Yeah. You act like an asshole and, you you know, you get what's coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know the rules. We better stay out. You visit it. No, I mean, who? I mean, if you act like an a hole, you get what's coming to you. It's a terrible way to live. I mean, it's a terrible way to live. But you, you know. But how, did, well, how does if, one? If you how does one? Like an asshole. Let well, 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 say a hole. Say a hole. You know, yeah, it's all right. But well, what? What? What are you saying? If, if some guys, you go to prison, right? Yeah. Now, well, give me an example of a guy who acts like an a hole. What does he do? What does he do? Uh, he, he walks around with his chest out. You know what I mean? Uh, Bragging. 
you know, just uh, you know, you know, he, he walks with a swagger down, a, you know, down a. F here. No, whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no F word, no F word. No. He walks with a swagger down the hall. You know, down, down the tier. Down the tier. You know, uh, he's, uh, you know, he. He left his uh, his yacht, his sideboard, and uh, you know. And if a guy looks like a, a pussy, and he and he swaggers around, they'll beat the crap out. That's of him, like right? asking for it. That's asking for it. Yeah. All right. Attitude. Oh. If you walk around humble. You know, you you walk around humble, but, but with some self respect also. Oh. Hey, here's some guy who wants to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> oh, here he is. <laughs> no, no, different guy, different guy. Some guy wants to ask you about jail. Cigarette. When I was a cigarette. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Hi. This is uh, Larry. What is it, Larry? Larry. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> That's Henry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, where's Larry? Where's he? Larry, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. Yeah, what did you want to say to Henry? I want to tell him to stop crying about going to jail. He's going well, to protection. I'm not crying. You're going to protection anyway. Hmm? You're going to protection. You know that. You're going to do 23-hour lock-ins. You know you're going to go hide. They ain't putting your school picture down in the, in the population. You know that. Listen, listen, listen. What? Yeah, what? Uh, how many? How many people did you save? Uh, did Mr. Save the World over there. Well, then go do the bit like a man. Go to. I'm doing it. Shut up. Come on. Come on. Like Ooh. A man. Yeah, I, you think I'm sniveling? Yeah. Go I, like I a man. Time in the No effort. No effort. Then you ever did it? What could do? Protection. Then go to population. Go. Yeah, tough guy. Like you're a tough guy. I know. I'm a tough guy. Yeah, you're but a tough. Guy. No wait, wait, no, no, don't say F word. Hey, Henry, don't say the F word. Okay, I won't. All right, please. Jeez. Larry, what are you saying about Henry? You're saying that uh, he's really not going to do hard time? He ain't going to do no time. They're going to send him somewhere. They're going to send you somewhere where nice, where they put you in protection and you, and you stay all by yourself with all the other stone pages and the mutts. Is that right? What's a mutt? Is that right? What's a mutt? Is that wrong? Am I wrong? Uh, if now, are you in the witness protection program? Are you going with the mutts or aren't you? No, I'm not in the witness protection program. Oh, you're not? No, I'm not. No. You walk around the street now, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. I know you're in the street, but you ain't walking around New York, are you? No. What are we, do I when, you go, when you go away, when you go do this violation, where are you going? You're going to protection, aren't you? And what's no. in there? What's no, in I, there? I, I, what, I, I, what, 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 what'd you say? Flea <laughs> bags, <laughs> mutts, <laughs> rainbows, snow pigeons. That's where you're going. Yeah, right. Good for you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. What are you saying, Larry, that uh, Henry is really just going to be in with a bunch of, like, uh... Rainbows, stool pigeons, fags. That's where he's going. <laughs> <laughs> Larry. You have a thing to worry about, then. Are you in the mob? No, I'm not in no mob. But you seem to know about the criminal uh, system. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Right. Him, who's he with? Who are you with? A little bit. I've been trying with nobody. I've been yeah, trying to throw this I've been listening to you for years, though. Right. Thank you. <laughs> what is when, a mutt? When you were out of the closet stern. Right. <laughs> hey, uh, L Larry, were, Larry. You, were you ever in jail? Yeah, why? No, I'm just asking. Are you seem to... Time? Yes. Wait, have you... Time? Where? Yeah. Almost everywhere. <laughs> the feds, the state, Whoa. Attica, Clinton, Lewisburg. Wow. You must have really done something wrong. You know, wrong. It's, with these guys, that's like, you know, where'd you go to school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where'd I go to so, school? So, Larry, you've done hard time. Yes. Right. And you I never was in protection either. Where you going, Henry? Go. You want to know something? Don't call up Howard and cry that you got to go. Who's away. crying? Who's well, crying? What were you, saying? you were moaning about you couldn't pee in the bottle. Yeah. I couldn't pee. <laughs> <laughs> Right or wrong, you were moaning. Hang up the phone. Go back. Go crawl under the bed. Yeah. No, I don't. I, I don't have to do that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, but right. you're gonna do that where you're going. You'll be out one hour a day. They'll take you out in the yard with the other mutts. <laughs> what's what's a mutt? What's a mutt? <laughs> one on the other end of the phone. Yeah. Well, what's a, but what you do know, you mean? Hey, describe it. What's a mutt, Larry? I don't understand the terminology. It's hard to say on the phone. Uh, <laughs> Larry, Larry, Larry. What do you do for a living, Larry? Well, it doesn't. Come Come on, genius. What do you do for a living? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. Larry, what the doors do you open? Who's car do you, you open? Come on, people. What do you do for a living? Come on, you come on. You're, you're a lot boy. I, I, and, and I know what crew you're with, too. And you're still a lot boy. Yeah. You know what crew he's with? Yeah, I know who he is. Who is he? Larry. <laughs> and you, you know him? You met him? Please. Please, Howard. Really? Please. All right, Howard. Are you with a crew? I like that Queen's shine my shoes or Tommy's shoes. Hey, Larry. Mm -hmm. Are you with a crew? What? No, 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 no. Is he right? No, 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 no. You open no, the door? No, no, no. If he, if he, if he was with a f crew, they what? cut his tongue out morning. Wait, don't say the F word. Well, they cut his tongue out tomorrow. What, if he was with a crew? Who it's killed right? Tommy? <laughs>
If what? Yeah. If he, if you were with a the crew, they'd cut your tongue out tomorrow, Henry. Said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I say? Why'd they cut my tongue out? I ain't no rat. Yeah, the lava cut it out anyway. I ain't no rat. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what difference does it make? Yeah. Ain't nobody looking are you Italian? for me. Are you, are you even Italian? Huh? Are you even Italian? Why, are you? I'm half Italian. Yeah, I know, so. What are you telling me? No, I'm asking you. Are you Italian? Yes, I am. That's good. I'm jealous. Just call, I just called to say, you know, you don't have to worry about him, Howard. He's going to protection. Right. Now he'll be safe. He'll be all right. right. What was uh, Larry in jail for? Yeah, Larry. What did you do? Uh, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> A few things. No, come on, tell me the truth. What did come you do? Come on now. Please? Uh, yeah. I'm asking you, what did you do? Uh, a couple of robberies here and there, you know. Killed someone? What? Did you kill anybody? No, 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 no. What I'm kind, not violent. What kind of robbery? Bank robbery? Yeah, no, jewelry stores. Oh. All right, let's... Uh, he's got to go because... Uh... Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been in a lot of jails. I try to be a citizen now. I are you? <laughs> are you playing it straight? Yeah, I am. You are? I am. I'm a citizen now. What is that, Henry? No, I I I missed I missed the most of, most of what he was saying. He said he robbed a lot of jewelry stores. Oh, did he? Yeah. Did you, uh, I'm a citizen now, though. God bless you. Yeah, well, Henry, oh, you got to respect. Good luck to you, but you know where you're going. Hey, you got to respect hey. that, Henry. I mean, the guy is a master criminal. Hey, listen, I ain't got a problem with anything I did or with anything I'm going to do. You hey, know what I mean? Hey, Larry. Uh, so, how uh, did you get caught? How do you get caught? Yeah. <laughs> It's not hard, believe me. It's not hard. <laughs> Nowadays, you can't you can't get away with nothing. Really? Is that right? Really it's gotten harder. I mean, well, 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 you break it. What? The alarms trip you up or something? No, no, no. It's just a matter of even if you get away, somebody will manage to put you in the mix anyway. Somebody, you know I mean? uh, somebody squeals, right? Yeah, exactly. Because you need a team. How many crew people in the crew? And that doesn't. <laughs> we can't go through all this. <laughs> I gotta go to work. You got a regular Henry. Good luck. Hey, Henry. Henry's not on the phone right now. This is his friend Flipper. <laughs> well, Flipper, what happened to Henry? Uh, he had to go in the other room. Uh, now he I can just pick. picked up the phone to catch a part that somebody always squeals. I find that's the case, too. Yes. All right. Well, thank you. Goodbye. All right. Bye, Larry. Hey, say goodbye to Henry for me. Hey, hey Howard? Yeah. What's up? Uh, say goodbye to Henry for me. Okay. Hey, here, here he comes. Right. Hold on. Hello. Uh, Henry, I, I got to go. Okay. And who's that guy? Where is he? That's a, that's a very good friend of mine. He did time. He's he's a he's not a wise guy, but uh, he wasn't in the mob. No, no, but he's a hell of a nice guy. And, and what did he used to do? He's a stand-up guy. Hold on, let me talk to him. Hmm. His name is Flip. Right. <laughs> What's up? Hey, Flip, what were you doing time for? Oh, I've been died in time for forgery. Uh... Look who Henry hangs around with. Forgery. <laughs> forgery. I mean, <laughs> forgery, possession, sales, transportation. Really? You've uh, done it all? Done it all, done it all. And I guess the mob likes you because uh, you always made their money, so they let you go. Well, I didn't step on any toes. All right. All right. Now you How'd play... you get to be friends with Henry? <laughs> they look up uh, to each other. <laughs> they what? I said, you're a bit of a renaissance man. You've done it all. <laughs> well, yeah, I did it all. Right. Didn't get caught for all of it, but I did it all. Right. I'm retired now. Right. And you've, retired. And you've uh, done you've done your time. Yeah, I've done my time. Still how many uh, how many stretches did you do? Five. Oh boy. <laughs> you spent most of your life in jail. <laughs> no, there were some short ones. I think mm. I, this was my first Christmas since uh, Ronald Reagan was president. I got to see Christmas. Wow. And New Year's. <laughs> and now you now you're playing it straight. You don't. Isn't it kind of boring though? Don't you miss the action? Well, yeah, it is kind of boring. I, it, I'm so, uh, yeah. And what, how do you make a living now? I'm a, I am work at a bingo a bingo parlor. Oh. oh. I call numbers for uh, 300 ladies, and if I make a mistake... There's got to be, yeah. be a way you could kind of just take something off the top on those bingo games. Oh, no. There's got to be a way to skim. Is this cash? Uh, I thought there was, too, and I've seen... Uh, there's, <laughs> believe me, there's... Listen to me. What we do duty is... duty boxes of cash there and... Uh, yeah, what we do is this. So there's also a lot of 357s around you. I know. Oh. All right, listen, you two guys go have fun. I can't imagine the conversation that goes on when we're not on the air in that room. Are we on the air? Uh, yes, we are. <laughs> well, hello, <Yeah>. Antelope Valley. <laughs> All right, let me say goodbye to Henry because he's going off to jail. All right, Howard. Let me say goodbye to him. Bye, Robin. Bye. Bye. Hey, I got one quick question. Whatever happened with the date with the midget and the pretty black lady that you... uh? They didn't work out. It didn't work he was out. He was very drunk and he was, he was obnoxious. Yeah? Yeah. Did she... Talking about Hank the Dwarf? 
Huh? Paint yeah. the door off you. Hey, he got a little angry. Did she knock him out? No, nah, she just didn't put up with him. She was a very sweet lady. It, it, it didn't work out. Well, I it was not a love match. Let me let me speak to Henry and okay. tell you about him, please. Here you I want to relive history. All right. Mm -hmm. Hello. What are you hanging around with a guy for? Why don't you get yourself a woman? Uh, he's a friend of mine. Yeah, what are you hanging around with a guy for? No, he's, he's looking he's for broads. A, what do you need him for? He's a, he's a, he's a good friend of mine. Yeah? He's a program you think guy. He be, you think he should be hanging around with guys? He's a program who, guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's your, like, sponsor or something? Yeah, something like that. Look who they team him up with. Uh, these two are well, going to be... who do you think you're going to find? These two are going to plot a crime together. I know with it. With Henry with an accountant? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you know, Henry <laughs> Henry is going to get ideas with this guy. <laughs> yeah, already they're planning a job problem. How easy well, would I mean, it be? Hey, Henry, Henry, how easy... You should sponsor somebody. Henry, Henry, right. how easy would it be to knock over that bingo parlor? Just to skim right off the top. Could we get a little scam going there or please, what? Please, please. In two seconds, they wouldn't even know what hit them. Please. You know, I tell you, it's it's, it's difficult being a legitimate. Thing. Exactly. The money's out there waiting for you. It's out there. No, it's it's okay. sitting there with those old broads in their stupid bingo game. It's calling to you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they can, they can keep all that, that life, honest. You had, you had broads, you had coke, you had money. you got to be pissed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now look what I got today. Yeah, you got flip in your apartment. <laughs> You're going to jail. All right, listen. You and Flip go. You you go plot out the master plan. Now Kelly's here. Also, who's there? Kelly. Who's Kelly? Yeah. Is that a chick? No. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who's who is she? She's a, she's my best friend. A mob chick? No, she's my oh. best friend in the whole world. Oh, the one that you want to get? Yeah. No, 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 no. You never nailed her. Of course, she had my son. Oh. And she's. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did she lose custody of your child? Uh, pardon? <laughs> Why what? did she lose custody? Why? Uh, for reasons beyond. Uh, I'd like to go into at this moment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Henry's the one trying to get custody. <laughs> Henry, yes, good luck in jail. Yeah, okay. I, I hope you're going to be all right. No, no, it's only a couple of months and it's. Uh, it might, it might be a treatment. Center. All right, give me a call. I'll see how you're doing. Okay. All right, stay in touch. Ciao. All right. right. That's Henry Hill, the uh, famous uh, mob guy. They made a movie about him called Wise Guy. Wise Guy. Wise Guy. <laughs> There's some scene going on there. Sheesh. I mean, that's tell you, the tales they could tell. Yeah. It's so scary. Yep. Uh, how many stretches did you do? Five? Yeah. How many places? I've been to Clinton and Attica. And <laughs> My first uh, Christmas since Ronald Reagan. <laughs> I think it's nothing. <laughs> All right, that's a long time. I'm being time. a citizen now. <laughs> yeah, that would straighten you out. <laughs> All right, I got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. The Hauser Show. Hey, Howard. This week I was up in well, you know, Gary, call, call the house if my wife's sleeping. And, uh, she'll kill me if she's sleeping, though. My wife gets so goddamn angry with me. All right. You think she's sleeping? Mmm. Yes. I know my daughter would really get off on. Hey, honey, if if you're awake, get Emily on the phone. She got to talk to Henry Hill. She's into. She's. Why would you want your daughter to talk to a guy who's murdered people? It doesn't matter. It's just the guy from the Robert, movie. She'll I never murdered anyone. Why don't you oh. stop? I don't believe that at all. Oh. I think Henry did. Henry, no, I think you he... stood by and let it happen. Yeah. Robin. <laughs> we saw Robin. the movie, Henry. Robin. What? Robin. What about that guy? What was the guy? Young guy. No, not, not not Spider. I'm talking about. Remember the maid guy. Who you and Jimmy? Billy Bats. Yeah, remember when Joe Pesci whacked that guy? Yeah, Billy Bats. Yeah, Billy and Bats. You put him in the trunk. And you guys threw him in the trunk, and then yeah. you stabbed him a bunch of times. Uh huh. And then you guys went up there and you know buried him. Yeah. That's as good as killing a guy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is it? I think Is so. It? I don't know. I think pulling the trigger has a whole lot to do with it. Henry Hill's still in the witness protection program. What's wrong with you? Uh, Sammy the Bull is out talking and everything. Yeah, he's the, he, Sammy. Sammy's not afraid. Hmm? How come? How come? Sam, what do you think's going on, Henry? How come the mob doesn't whack you? How come the mob doesn't whack Sammy the Bull Gravano? And they got they got other problems. They got bigger problems. I never heard he, uh, bigger problems. He put the Godfather in jail for oh. life. What are you doing to that phone? I don't know. I'm. Uh, Are you having sex with the phone? No, I'm not having sex with the phone. So you think it would be a priority to get the guy who was, you know, putting all your friends in jail? Yeah. Hey, those guys, uh, they deserved it. <laughs> yeah, no question, but at the same point, I mean, why, why is the mob not able to whack Sammy the Bull Gravano? Why? <clears throat> uh, first of all, I'm sure they had fair warning from the government to leave right. the phone. Right, right. And second of all, uh... 
you know, at this, at this stage of the game, what good is it going to do? You know, some kid will do it. Look how Henry doesn't even know why no, I mean, the mob can't. There's, 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 there's no explanation for it. They, so what has everybody out. just turned? So what have you been doing, man? You've been drinking? No, no. You know, I've been being a good boy. Yeah? I, I, last week I was up at the, in, in Pennsylvania. Sounds to me like you're Slippery drinking. Slippery Rock University. Sounds and to me. What? Where were you? Slippery Rock University? Yeah, I gave a lecture. You gave a lecture on what? How to whack somebody? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? The, uh, the mafia organized crime. The best thing I ever saw Henry do is do a reenactment on our E show how to whack a guy with an ice pick. <laughs> and Henry um, Henry had a guy in the front seat of the car, and Henry took the ice pick and whacked him by taking the ice pick and ramming it right into the guy's back of his neck, right into the spine. Oh. Right? Mm hmm. That's how you whack a guy, right? With an ice pick. It's the quietest way. Yeah. You know, Howard, did you see that Sammy the Bull interview? Because I think Sammy took a took a shot at uh, at uh, Henry Hill. No kidding. And, and, no, I didn't catch that. What, what was it? What he said was, um, she said, "Well, aren't you afraid to be out like this?" And he goes, "Listen, I'm going to be out and seen. I don't care." He goes, "I'm not a not a, a, a wimp. I'm not going to run around with fake beard and glasses on." No, oh. that's, Henry that's Henry's disguise. mo. <laughs> Henry, Henry with the big bozo nose. <laughs> I got news. I don't wear a disguise anymore. In fact, I'm going to be on a I'm going to be on Geraldo's show. And by the way, the disguise. Henry has been the guy who's actually been the one who's been running around the country and everything and going on all these TV shows and doing interviews. Yeah, but he <laughs> always wears a disguise. Not always. How do you? you? Do you, Henry? Are you the always dark glasses. Yeah, I didn't even yeah. thought it was much of a disguise. <laughs> I mean, dark glasses. Who's he, Superman? And a beard. Yeah. Howard, he's in, so much, he's in hiding so much. You know what he did last week? What? He gave a lecture at a college. Yeah. So how much? So how afraid is Henry Hill? I'm not a matter of hiding. No, you know. So what did you lecture? So you went there, you showed up at a college, and you mm -hmm. lectured, and was everyone, like, freaking Broke out? Broke the attendance record. Broke the attendance record. <laughs> yeah, because it's fun. What kind of college has to teach a class on the mafia? Slippery Rock University. Well, I never heard of that place. Red Rock University? Yeah, Slippery, Slippery Rock. Rock. Slippery, isn't that a beer? It's Slippery Rock? Rock? It's Rolling Rock. Rolling Rock. No, Slippery Rock. I think it's... Great school, nice school. Last is it a better school than Hamburger University? <laughs> uh, I think so. <laughs> you think so, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Henry told me that he wanted to do like a special for E and go back to like Canarsie and point out where all the dead bodies were, like a walk of death. We'll do that. Henry, you want to do that? Sure, why not? Okay, you're on. Hey, I'll come into New York. Yeah, consider it done. When was the last time you were in New York? Hmm? It's been a while. Now, they, so you got anything you want? They made probably half a dozen marshals on me, but uh, they let me in. All right. Why would they put marshals on you? Or why? Because they, you'll be killed? No, I just, uh, you know. Well, that's where... That's where um, Giuliani, I think, would be a little upset if something happened to me there. Hey Henry, who did you turn in in the mob? Like who did who did you screw? Well, that's where that's where the guy's from. The guy Paul that he that he turned in is Paulie. Friend. Yeah, he's still you know his family still in Canarsie. Oh yeah, what was the guy's name? His real name? Yeah, Vario. No, who's the guy that 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 Henry's life? Who whose life did he ruin by uh, Paul, Paul Vario? Yeah. Is he in jail now? He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, yeah he's but dead. His, his family. I went to grammar school with his family. Really? Yeah. Henry, you ruined that guy's life. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> No, I think the guy's activities ruined his life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Henry just told about him. Anything you want to say about Sammy the Bull and Gotti? You think Sammy the Bull will get a uh, bullet? Nah, I think he'll be alright. What'd you think of his nose job and everything? Hey, it looks good. They didn't give me a face job. They let me they get sure didn't. dollars with me. <laughs> they sure didn't. Yeah, I'm out there hustling, selling Amway. Right. Is that what you do? You were in the plan? <laughs> Are you selling Amway now? <laughs> no, I got he, told, he told me also he's working on another movie. Oh, yeah? He's always working on another yeah, one. No, the, Howard, I got, I got a couple of nice things for you to read. All right, send them over. Off the phone. Send them over. I won't. So what's going on up there in New York? <laughs> Small what talk. This is a radio show. Small talk. Small talk. Um, are we your I, I only friends, problem. Uh, oh, you want to know something? Henry, are we your only friends? What? Are we your only friends? Uh, no, I got, I, I, got, I got one best friend in the whole world. Miss Kelly, tell me uh, something about tell me something about Sammy the Bull. Give me some news here. Yeah, Sammy the Bull. Do you know him? He's a, he was a rich businessman. Are you upset that he's getting more attention than you now? No, not at all. Are you upset that perhaps there'll be a Sammy the Bull movie and uh, you won't be in it? Yeah, his book is going to make lots no, of money. They, they Are you call, jealous? No, they call me for consulting jobs. Mm -hmm. I'm doing. Uh, I got plenty of work. Will his movie be better than yours? I, know, I hope so. <laughs> 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 it was better than you. We, I think we did forty-seven million. <laughs> 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 but but it's, the, 
they consider it a classic. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, yours will be a classic. Now. All right, thanks, man. You're yeah. making me feel better. Listen, do, do you remember the case with my son? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that Cliff at uh, Nichols, my yeah. attorney. Yeah. yeah. Cliff Nichols, he got it reversed. So you have custody of your son? Well, no, uh, not custody, but they, they're not going to take my frontal rights away. Last time we talked to Henry, he was upset because um, he couldn't understand why the courts had taken his son and given it to a black family. And the black family was raising him. What? And they were raising him black. They had him in purple outfit to go to church. <laughs> and there's nothing worse to a mob guy than the blacks raising your son. There's nothing worse. That's paybacks. What? He's a wonderful little boy. Where is he now, Henry? Where he at? <laughs> where am he? Where am he? Oh. You he wouldn't believe it if I told you where he is. Where? I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Does he talk like this? No. Hey, no. yo, what's up, Dad? What's up with you, man? Not at all, hey, Howard. Pops. <laughs> you going to speak Ebonics? <laughs> hey, Pops, what's happening, baby? Police, Howard. Police. His mother's staring me right now in the eyes. <laughs> she wants to strangle me. Oh, the mother's there? Yeah. Oh. Well, how come she can't get custody? Uh, she, she's working on it. <laughs> she says, Two on, of them. Neither one of them can get their own kid. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls the phone. She says, I give the phone. Hey, yo, daddy, what's happening, man? What's with these black people raising me? What's up with this? Tell her I want to talk to you. <laughs> She's not in love with me anymore. She's not? She Who? loves me, but she's not in love. Who's she talking about? Kelly, the mother of this child. She's not in love with him anymore. I can't imagine. Why is that? <laughs> Pop, what's up with that witness protection, man? That, uh, I, I tell you, the witness protection is a good program. So now, did the, did the uh, judge let you go visit your kid? Uh, yeah, I've seen him this week. So you went over to the black people's house? No, no he's not with black people anymore. They moved him from the black people's Oh, really? Was he with the white family? Yeah. Oh, how'd you manage that? Right. Moving on up to the east side. I finally got an apartment in the sky. Oh, and I'm moving on up, moving on up to the east side. I finally got a piece of the pie. I can hear about this every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what's the kid? Is the kid a Muslim? Nah, the kid's a kid. He's a Christian. Does he follow Farrakhan? Yeah? Yeah, he's a good boy. What's his rap name? <laughs> Kareem Abdul Hill. How's your horse, Robin? Uh, so the white people are raising the kid now? Yes. Oh, yeah? Is he confused? Like he's saying, hey, what, what happened to my black people? Nah, yeah. What happened he, to my peeps? He, my bad. He's going to be with family real soon. He's going to be back with you? He's going to be with family real soon. <laughs> family. <laughs> it's family. You know, when you say that, Henry, I get nervous. Yeah. Family can mean a lot of different things. <laughs> Next will be with the Jews. Yeah. You don't know what to do. <laughs> He'll be spinning like a dreidel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he goes from black to spinning dreidels. He'll be spinning like a dreidel. <laughs> what are you doing for Passover? Hey, you know what was cool in Goodfellas? Mm -hmm. How, like, is it really true? Tell me the truth, because sometimes movies make up crap. Mm -hmm. Is it true that that mailman that used to deliver your report card, and if you had a bad report card, he would deliver it, and then they went and beat up the mailman? The mob beat up the mailman for you when you Absolutely were a kid? True. Wow. Can you imagine? Your job is different. No, he, 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 yeah. he, mob guys he, coming down on How great is that? He was bringing home notes that I was missing school. And you know what was cool, too? The father, it, your father, mm -hmm. your dad was like, oh, he said, hey, stay away from those mob guys. Didn't, didn't, the, didn't those guys just beat up your dad, too? No, no, no. They, never they just they smacked him around a little bit. No, 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 no. No, no. Those mob what guys. if your dad had hit you? Maybe they would have. Oh. <laughs> no, my dad, my dad hit me a few times for hanging around with them. Yeah. I got a couple of good beatings. Henry's like, Henry was those like... Those are bums. Stay away from those bums. Henry was like... People a, don't understand that today, Howard, you know? They think that these are the, you know, that these are the, uh, uh, the heroes of the neighborhood and, uh... Well, you certainly well, did. Well, you did, too. What do you mean, these days? <laughs> these days. I was, I was, uh... You were dopey. No, I was dopey. You, you damn right, I was dopey. But well, Henry was yeah. hustling like... A, it's such a, it, it's such an incredible movie. Because at 11 years old, Henry's hustling... And, like, he's having mailman beat up, he's yeah, stealing he's cars. He's making more money than his father. Yeah. He would walk around in brand new suits, come home to his mother's house in a brand new suit. He's 11 years old. He was paying her rent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a different world. <laughs> well, look at me now. Yeah. Look at you now, man. Look at me now. You gotta give me a dollar date. Now your, kid, now your kid's being raised by the black people. <laughs> 53 years old, I'm single and I need a woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm your child sitting right there.
Yeah, yeah. I gotta wreck someone else's life. Why now. don't you do? Why don't you do that woman you had the kid with? Hmm. Do the woman sitting there where we had the kid with? Nah. She don't look so good. Oh, she looks great. Yeah. Do her. Nah, she is. Uh, she's mad at me. You can't get her. She's afraid to be with me. <laughs> yeah, I would be too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you come to New York. I'll get you on dial a date. Okay. I'll set you up with the broad. Yeah, why not? There we go. Imagine I'd me. Like to see you in person. Imagine me getting Henry Hill broad. Oh God. <laughs> Did you ever dream? Never. Uh, Date with a mobster. Yep. That's a mobster. Yep. Yeah. Become a sociopath. You had it all, man. Money, clothes, women. He used to go to the Copacabana. He'd have front row seats, Henry. He'd bring a broad he in there. He had the gumada. Yeah, he had his gumada, <laughs> and he had his wife. Uh, and he used to bring the broads to the Copa, and you would just sit right up front, right? All the broads, he'd let you right in. Uh, it was fun. You had a good time, right? Yep. Yeah, and then you whack a few people. Uh, out partying all day and all night. I yeah. hang out in your neighborhood, I'm not sure. You and Jimmy. Yeah. We had all those guns. It was nice, you know. You know all you know, of those, those guys are different. dead now, aren't they? Yeah, everyone's dead. Every single one of them. Sheesh. Used to go to the airport, We're knock, off, scary, knock right? off a knock off a truck or an airplane shipment. Mm-hmm. Fly down to Puerto Rico, fly down to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Those were the days. Yeah, but huh? you want to know something? I live a better life today. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it, Henry. You get up and yeah. crack it on to talk to us. Yeah, it sounds like fun. <laughs> you get all loaded and then you call our show. <laughs> yeah. Me and my ex wife sitting on the bed. Yeah, it's a much better <laughs> life. Yeah, it has nothing to do with me. And you're staring at either you're staring at a wall or you're staring at the woman who gave you your son. This is what? better. No, this better. is a better life. This is better. No, man, you had the action, man. You had it all, Henry. You had it all, buddy. It was in the palm all of your that hand. Money. Yeah. Cash, girls, cars, oh, yeah. houses, trips to Vegas, Puerto Rico. You it'll own the airport. All, 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 all respect. All the respect. Listen, I survived the mob. You had all the I respect. I survived the government. I survived Hollywood. You were living. Hollywood was the worst. You were living better at eleven than you are now. Yeah. Uh, Hollywood <laughs> was the worst of the, you know of the mob, the government. <laughs> yeah. and how old? Hollywood was the worst. How old was oh, you? Oh God! How old was you when you first got laid? Yeah, uh, about thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Right. Fourteen years old. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Because the mob guys, man, I bet you had a nice piece of ass too at fourteen. Oh, uh, they took me to the right place. Right. Yeah, you had some hooker. <laughs> hooker. hooker. <laughs> Who took you there, Big Paulie? Uh, Paulie Jr. Somebody. Paulie Jr. <laughs> Paulie Jr. <laughs> now you're sitting in the apartment. Uh, can't get laid. Can't get laid. Uh, talking yeah. on the radio. Once a month I get it. Just Once getting a month. Love. Once a month. Like welfare. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, what are you gonna do? Uh, Look at me. I'm doing the same thing you're doing. I'm sitting, <laughs> I'm sitting in the house. Staring at the wall, I get laid once a month. Uh, it's not so bad. I'm going to tell you something. I don't need it anymore like I used to. I'm telling you. Is everything so much easier? easier. Well, you can still get it up, though, can't you? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Four or five times a day. Oh, to. really? Yeah, you're no <laughs> homo. <laughs> okay, man. Four or five times a day? We're doing okay. All right, man. You go back, you go back and stare at the wall now. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. But you're off all the drugs, right? No, no, she... The fight is starting now. What fight? The fight with Kelly. She's stuck. Put her on the phone with me. I'll tell her to give hold you on, some hold sex. On, All right. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Let me talk to her. She, she doesn't want to talk to you. Come on, let me talk hey, to Kelly. her. Yeah, honey, on. honey, pick up the phone. Kelly, come on. I shouldn't have the radio on. Tell her to get over there. I smack her one. Yes, that's, that's what started all my problems. <laughs> you smacked her around too many times. Uh, once, yeah, once too many. <laughs> one too many. Oh, <laughs> she don't, your dream. She don't listen, though. That's her problem. <laughs> you tell her to get on the phone, and she don't get on the phone. He yeah. never learns. You know that didn't work with the first wife. Uh, <laughs> what, remember the days you smack a woman around, Henry, and she would uh, listen? Uh, not anymore. No, I'll be moving tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you moved out? All right. Oh, God. You want to know something? I'm, I'm permanently homeless. Honest to God. <laughs> Back right. to the beach. Henry, come to New York, man. Give us the tour of the dead bodies. Seriously, we can sneak in now. All right, cool. All right. Henry Hill, everybody. Yeah, I got to go. Barry, when you're coming. We got to go, man. Okay, guys. Give my love to your son. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Tell him, what's up, homie? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Bye-bye. There it is. Life on the run. 
A glimpse into the mob. I know. Every once in a while, I'll tell people we talk to Henry Hill every once in a while. They don't believe me. <laughs> That's Henry, man. That's the guy from Goodfellas. Howard, you go I back, wish my daughter could have gotten on the phone with him. Yeah. When you go back and watch that movie, is it? It's so hard to make the connection between him and Henry. Well, yeah. Jeez, it's such a leap. Yeah, I know. It's one of the best movies ever made. Yeah. So it's so good, man. We'll be back right after these words. I don't know. Can't Pamela Lee fake being a homo? Uh, can't she do a lesbian show? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. She wants to do that. I guess not. Who's this, Henry? Yeah. Henry Hill, this is the guy. Oh, hi, Henry. Yeah, this is Henry Why? Hill. He, uh, I don't know, he's been calling us a lot lately. Uh, the thing with Henry is that, um, you know, Henry... Did we call yesterday? We never talked to him. Yeah, Henry does. Henry, you drink, and, you know, sometimes Henry will disappear for months, and then suddenly he'll call for two, three days in a row. Henry, if you remember, is the guy they based the movie Goodfellas on. It's his life story. Why is that, Henry? Why is, is it you get into a jag and you just call us every day for a while? Good, now, he's, know, now he's listening to his radio. I'm coming to the city. Could you could you turn off your radio, Henry? Yeah, hold on. Huh. More murderer than murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on a song about him too. So you're coming to town? Well, we're supposed to do the uh, the tour. Yeah. Well, uh, Henry has agreed to uh, tape something for me. He is going to go around with our e cameras and point out where all the dead bodies are buried. All right. And then we're going to dig them up and see what's going on underneath there. That's uh, it's going to be quite uh, it's going to be quite good actually. You can't do that. Sure you can. Yeah, I spoke to the uh, to, to my friends back there. Who? <laughs> Who the, the feds. The feds. No, yeah. what, what it is like we can't dig up giant stadium and, and get right, Jimmy Hop that's out what of there. I'm saying. You got to have permission to do some of this. Henry, Jimmy is under the giant stadium for real though, right? Nah, uh, Jimmy Hop. Yeah. No, oh, that's what they say. Where is he? Th that's what they say. Oh, he's in the giant stadium, right? He's in the Meadowlands. He's in the Meadowlands. Yeah. Is it true? Who well, knows? You know, the uh, pretty reliable sources. Do you know the guys who whacked him? Oh yeah. Who who whacked him? The Irish guys. The Irish, Irish guys? guys. Yeah, the Irish guys from my uh, house kitchen. What's the their names? The you, get, you got names? Hmm. You got names? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that when we do the. Uh, no, here we go. When yeah. we do the walk around. You sure you're not drinking? No, honest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, oh, come That's on. That laugh. That laugh. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Ray Liotta does it through the whole movie. It's so good. <laughs> what are you doing? You smoking Prozac or what? No. You're, you're definitely on something. You're on. You're on some sort of medication to dull the pain. No, no, no. I'm on natural life. Yeah. So Henry, you're going to come to New York. Yeah, we got to get. You uh, know. Well. We'll set it up after the, uh, after the show. I'll talk with someone. All right. And uh, by the way, I don't know if Henry even knows this. Uh, we were contacted out in Los Angeles. Henry might actually like this because I know he's lonely. What? Uh, we were contacted out in Los Angeles. One of our sponsors wants Henry to cut a commercial. Really? Yeah, right. yeah for money. No, no kidding. Yeah. It's, a, it's some kind of pizza place. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Gary, tell us more about this. Uh, Henry Hill might actually have work. I mean, some people might have a problem with this because Henry has been part of murders and ripping off people and, you know. And he never even served any time. Never served any time. Not the whole time. Well, not for, you know, all the stuff you did. Not for all the good stuff you did. Yeah. We're not allowed to say the client's name yet, but they did inquire through a salesman in uh, Los Angeles. Right. Uh, would Henry Hill be available for a commercial? Right. To record a commercial? Well, i got to hear this. i got to hear this commercial. Is it, this is Henry Hill, and when I'm not killing people, I'm eating pizza? All right. You know, some now of the most. I'm in the witness protection program. Hi, this is Henry Hill, and they based the movie Goodfellas on me. And you know, uh, probably the most joyous moments of my life, aside from putting an ice pick in the back of a guy's neck, was uh, you know eating pizza at the pizzeria with all my mob friends. And I got to tell you, uh, a pizza to me is uh, heartwarming food. In fact, uh, after we knocked off, I was with Jimmy one night, and we killed um, we killed this kid in a bar. No, we killed a made man actually. Uh, we went to uh, Jimmy's mama's house. And we ate pizzas. And it was good. It calmed us down. I have good memories associated with pizza. <laughs> yeah, some of my fondest memories. In fact, uh, I had a girlfriend, one of my gumatas, uh, her diaphragm was shaped like a pizza. <laughs> and had just as much sauce. <laughs> oh, hey, Henry's got a girl. Yeah, in fact, John, John uh, called him earlier. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because Henry called us yesterday, and the woman answered. And Henry, Henry was sleeping, sleeping, and she was Kelly. screaming, Henry, wake up, wake up, and he wouldn't wake up. Yeah, because he's probably on so much Prozac. <laughs> Henry, how come you, what do you take to sleep? Nothing, nothing. How come you couldn't wake up? I was tired. So you do have a woman with you? 
What? That's the wife, the mother of your child? Yeah, Kelly. So, and she's not doing you? Hmm? She's not doing you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is doing you? Yeah. But you don't like it? Oh, I love her to death. Yeah. But she doesn't love you, you say? Oh, yeah, she... <clears throat> Hold on while you talk to her. No, no, no. You want a date, don't you? You want a date with a new woman. That's her... Yeah, yeah. All right. So you can't really talk because she's in the room, but you're sick of doing her, right? Nah, she's, she's Tell the truth. The Don't, truth. Lie to me. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Are you gonna marry me? She won't marry me. Yeah, well, with good reason. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's, she's she's my best friend. She's the mother of your child. The two yeah. of you are together, but you still can't get custody of your kid. Well, we're we're in a process. Yeah, the blacks were raising his kid for a while. But, what uh, did he just say? I don't know. When you talk to Henry, you don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm in the process. Oh, you're in the process. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see the judge that's going to give you your kid back. <laughs> you know, he makes such a good presentation in court. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, uh, actually, we had the, uh, the, the the lawyer had the case reversed. You know, they uh, they uh, take take took, took my uh, parental rights and. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What do you say? They took his parental rights, but yeah. some lawyers had it reversed. Right. <laughs> what lawyer is that? Uh, he's a great lawyer. Lawyer Larry and Curly? <laughs> if you get Judge Moe, you might get the kid back. Uh, Chris Nichols, he's a, he, he's a fabulous attorney. Hey, I got a guy on the phone who says, don't believe a word Henry says. This guy's a made man. Right. And he don't believe that. A made, a made man. man in the mob. A made man in the mob is going to get on the phone. Yeah, why not? Put him on. A lot of mob guys listen to my show. They love you it. You get on the phone, Henry. Hi, mm -hmm. is this uh, Bobby? Yeah. Hi, you're a made man? That, never mind made man. That's just a, that's just a phony baloney term. Okay. In other words, you're very well connected. I connected. I know what this guy's talking about, and I know how much of it isn't true. Yeah. All right. What is, what is he lying about? Uh, he's certainly lying about how important he was and how he knew everybody. Uh, and let's, the picture's not exactly on the money either. The Goodfellas movie. That's right. In other words, this Henry. Guy? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? <laughs> hey, Henry. You what? happen to hang around with a few guys that were doing things where you were able to make money. That much of it is true. But you were no big deal. Right. In other words, Henry, you know, that was? bodies are buried. You don't even know where his own body is buried. He's out there drunk, ubriag, every day. Right. <laughs> so, uh, what in the movie disturbed you? Uh, you felt that Henry uh, made his... All the violence. Yeah, and and, and Henry made his uh, <coughs> made it seem like he was closer to the top echelon than he was. Is well, that it? According to Henry, he was everything wrapped up into everything. Right. He was just a schmuck for Paul Vario. Right. Right, Henry? Yeah, 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 yeah. And now you're out there, Umbriag, every goddamn day, and you're making a big deal out of it. <laughs> but you're so you, you, should, back you should be so lucky. You, you, you should be so lucky. Bobby, why is it? those good boys is over there. So Bobby, lucky is what? To be in L.A. drunk every day? Who's drunk every day? Well, well, who am I talking to now? What am I talking to? A sober man? Of course. Yeah, of course. And hey, Bobby, let me ask you a question. Hey, hey, whoever's got their radio turned up, please turn it off. Uh, Bobby, let me ask you a question. Why is it that the mob can't knock off uh, Sammy the Bull and Henry Hill? Why is that? If, a, if these guys are snitches? It's not a question of can't. First, and Henry's case, listen, forget about Sammy the Bull. In Henry's case. Right. Henry's case, he's not worth it. Right. You understand? The people he put away are all dead and buried. Right. Nobody's looking for him. That's why he's got these big balls to come on the air. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like you got big balls to come on the air. Right. Morning radio. Right. But what about Sammy the Bull? Why can't we talk about him? No, how can we get him? There's nothing to talk about there. Are you going to get him or not? Uh, I'm not going to get anybody. You're not? Me? No, I'm have not going to get him. Have you ever what killed him? Kind of, what kind of wise guy gets on the radio right at, at 3 in the morning? What, what, morning? what are you saying? I said, what kind of wise guy like him gets on the radio? You saying what this kind guy of wise guy like you gets on the radio? Yeah, I'm not a wise guy. Are you, you saying, not, are you saying I'm this? not a bright guy either. I got news for you. Yeah. Are you saying that this guy's not a mob guy? I'm saying he's a wannabe. Henry, ask him. Henry, ask him. You're saying this guy's a wannabe. I'm a professional actor. I get paid. I am not a my, uh, wise guy. I uh, just play one on TV. Well, there you go. Well, thank you for your time. All right. Goodbye. Bye, Henry. <laughs> Ciao. I don't know what that was. What was the point of that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what his point was. I don't know. He's old enough. But anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So you'll come to New York, and whose bodies are you going to point out? Which, which? Give us a taste of what you're uh, going to do. We'll, we'll, we'll find a half a dozen of them. Half a dozen? That's six. All right, six bodies. Yeah. All right, and you'll drive to what? Different parts of Brooklyn and Staten yeah. Island. Mm-hmm. And you'll and you'll point out where the dead bodies are. Mm-hmm. Do you think the bodies still smell? 
Oh, of course. Did you put that lime <laughs> stuff on them? Not all of them. Did you put lime on every one of them? Yeah, most of them. Yeah. Wow. Henry knows how to bury a guy. He's better than a mortician. He buries you. You don't smell. <laughs> I tell you, you should put some of that lime between my legs so I wouldn't stink on me. <laughs> I tell you, I got a stink on me. You don't yeah. want that. Lime might take care of yeah, that. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Henry, uh, I'll, I guess you'll line that up with Gary. With Gary, and we'll see you in a little while, huh? Right. And you're coming. Grab, I'm going to bring my my sweetie with me, okay? Yeah, no I want to meet her. Okay. All right. I want to meet the woman that lives with you. <laughs> All right, Henry. You want to meet your sweetie? <laughs> Someone's listening to the radio back there. It's very confusing. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think that's the sweetie. She refuses to turn off that. Damn ass radio. Well, her man is on. She's got to, <laughs> got to monitor him. <laughs> yeah, especially when it's Henry. <laughs> and you never know what he's going to say. <laughs> oh. It's so funny that Henry Hill listens to us. Nah. I think it's funny that he's going to go on tour and show us where dead bodies are. <laughs> I, I love it. What is Umbliag? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It's a lot of mob crap. I think they're African American. I don't know what they are. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. You're listening to The Howard Stern Show. More after this. 971 The Eagle. Can you imagine whoever this monkey is? <laughs> the Howard Stern Show. I would be that monkey. He would be referring to me, I guess. Hey, this is um, kind of weird. We got uh, Henry back on the phone for one second. Henry Hill, who uh, the movie Goodfellas was made of, made about. He's going to do a tour for us of all the dead bodies. And uh, if you remember in the movie, you know, let me just let me just get him on real quick again. Uh, Hello? Henry? No, no you got me, man. Hold on. I don't know where you... Oh, I see. Okay. Henry? Yeah, hello. Oh, hold on a second. Henry, this is um, on our phone now. You know you know the guy that Jimmy kills in the movie Goodfellas, Spider? Yeah. Who is Spider again, Robin? That's the guy He's in... the, the uh, young kid, The right? young waiter. Hey, Spider, on your way over here, bring me a cut of water, huh? I thought I heard someone say some spider spider. I thought, spider, I thought spider. it was Henry. Are you a fucking you mumbling, know. stuttering little fuck? You know that? No, I thought you said it was, I was all right, spider. So you... No, you ain't all right, spider. You got a lot of fucking problems. No, I thought you said you were all right, spider. I am all right. You ain't all right, you little fucking That's prick. What... I thought I thought I am. I tell you, you've been doing this all I fucking know. night to me, you motherfucker. You want a drink now? Okay, I'll bring it. Yeah, go well, give me a fucking drink. Move it, you little prick. You walk like fucking step and fetch him. Anybody else, you'll fucking run. Run for me, you prick. Dance. Dance the fucking drink back here. Hello, Frick. Hey, what's that movie that Bogart made? Which one? The one where he played a cowboy. Only the uh, one. The Oklahoma Kid. Shane? Oklahoma Kid. Shane. Oklahoma Kid. That's me. I'm the Oklahoma Kid. You fucking oh, fucker. Don't worry. Dance. Dance. Yahoo, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on. Spider. Hey, Spider, that fucking bandage on your foot is bigger than your fucking head. You know what I mean? 
Right. Next thing you know, he's going to be coming in one of these fucking walkers. Like this, my friend. Even though you got that, you can dance, huh? Give us a little, give us a, cu- a couple of fucking steps here, Spider. <laughs> fucking bullshit of you. Tell the truth, you're looking for sympathy. Is that it, sweetie? Why don't you go fuck yourself, Tommy? Oh. 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 Oh.
And then, uh, did you, you know, you know what struck me as odd? That all the mobster guys uh, were so afraid of the Joe Pesci character that yeah, they, they... didn't say anything or do anything. I mean, he clearly was out of control. Yeah, he was. He was a nut. He was a wolf. Do you, do you, did you feel bad about Spider, Henry? Of course. Yeah. All this guy felt bad about is that he couldn't get any more drugs for a while. Oh, Spider was providing drugs? No, 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 no. Yeah, spider no. Spider, so, spider what? My brother yeah. was just a coffee boy because he yeah, was working off the gambling You're saying Spider was a drug dealer? Well, we don't even want to you know, get into what your brother was doing, okay? Yeah, my brother was paying off a gambling yeah. debt. Well, what are you saying, man? I got man? back from let Paul Barrio. Let the kid in some peace. Listen, let the kid in some peace. Well, well, what are you saying he was doing? You're saying he was dealing drugs? Yeah, and a lot of other things. Yeah. Like what other things? Nah. Well, if you're gonna make an accusation. Why don't we? Let's hear it. I don't want to get into it on the phone. Uh, on the phone. Well, where else are we? Gonna where are we gonna get into, get into it? it? <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me in the movie they paint him as a kid who was just working. Yeah, he's uh, an innocent. He an innocent. Wasn't even a kid. Nah, he was nah, in nah, late twenties. Nah. Really? He was doing a lot of things he shouldn't have been done. <laughs> really? So were you? Like what? <laughs> yeah. Gee, I wonder why. Nah. So you're saying he deserved to die? No, no, not at all. Not at all. All right, so you're saying to her that you swear you don't know where her brother is. No, and, uh... Yeah, you believe him, too. I didn't say I believe him. You just said, uh, what am I supposed to Marie, do? Marie, I'll put, you t I'll put you in touch with someone tomorrow. Yeah, it doesn't say, hey, Howard, who's going to talk to a rat? Uh, well, who's we are. talk to a rat? You except are and you. I am. Except you. Well, what about you? I you... want to know where my brother is. No, that's what I'm trying to find out. He's saying he doesn't know. Why would he not tell you where your brother is? I mean, what's he got to... Why would he keep that a secret? He can't go to jail for it, so... Because he's a creep. Oh, I see. Do you think that he's going to come here and show us where six bodies are, Marie? Well, he... I don't think he's going to come anywhere. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I think he just likes the, um... The attention he's getting. I see. What do you think of Henry doing a pizza commercial? I think it's sick. Right. Him and Gravano are hand in hand, boy. Let me tell you. Well, you know she's At got a point. Gravano here. has the has the nerve to walk around with no disguise. Yeah, and, well, and Henry doesn't have to pay any money to the victims. Oh, uh, that's families. another thing. I wish I knew where he was, boy. Who, oh, Henry? Uh, he shouldn't be making a dime for anything he's doing. Listen, I, I'll give my attorney's number, Robert Simmels. Call him up and uh, an go for him. That's nice. Yeah. And what's she supposed to phone book. And what's she supposed to do with that number? I know what I'd like to do with the number. What? What would you like to do with it? <laughs> too much Everybody's making an accusation. Nobody will Nobody say anything. Nobody will actually say anything. He says, get, call my attorney. And I said, why? He won't say. And then she says, I'd like to take that attorney's number and do something with it. I go, what do you want to do with it? And she don't tell me. Howard, I can't say anything like that. I'm a lady. I can't talk. But why hasn't anybody ever sued Henry? <laughs> well, you know what? I just wanted to ask you if you'd do me a favor and try and find out where my brother's body is. And, and, and I will, Maria. If he wasn't so drunk, maybe he'd remember. All right, he's gonna. Henry, will you agree to look into it? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Why? Well, I mean, he hasn't thank looked you. into it in all this time. Yeah. Harry, thank you very much. All right, you. thank you, Marie. Is it true that all Italian women are named Marie, Henry? <laughs> Marie. Yeah. They say that in Goodfellas. <laughs> yeah. Well, what does he know? Well, it must have been hard for you to watch the movie Goodfellas and and uh, yes. see that. I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't for a very very long time. Well, I can imagine. All right, Henry, thank you, and uh, Marie, thank you. May I call you again to find out if you found anything? Yes. You can call me as much as you want. I appreciate it. All right, Marie. Bye. All right. Okay. All right, thanks, Henry. Okay, can you put me on with Gary? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> what is that, Henry? Some some sweets in the suite. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Henry Hill, the uh, of course, the movie Goodfellas was the story of his life. I understand when you were out with the E crew yesterday, you, you said you shot a couple of guys, and Kelly was like, oh, my God, Henry, you shot a few guys? I didn't know that. And then you accidentally let it slip that you were shot a few Uh-oh. No, 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 Howard. Uh, <laughs> Howard. What, Henry? What, Henry? I never killed nobody. Really? <laughs> Kelly, what do you think? I'm sorry. You think he's full of it. You think he killed a few people. All right. <laughs> you know, neither did OJ. Henry. And look at their face. Does that, does that look like the face of a killer? Yes. <laughs> you know, Henry's looking more like Ray Liotta, actually, now. Now that I... Yeah. You know what I mean? It's really weird. Turns out that was good casting. Henry, when I used to interview you on television on my old Channel 9 show, and you were in disguise, did they used to, like, make you look fatter, or did you just lose a lot of weight? Mm -hmm. You lost Is that right? Because I was going to say, his face was always fuller. About 15 pounds. So now you're not wearing a disguise anymore because Sammy the Bull proved you can go on TV and not wear a disguise? Howard. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> now you see that laugh? That's the that's laugh. Henry. That is Ray Liotta's laugh, man. The same one. That, that's where he got it from. He got it from Henry. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> now, Kelly, did you know who you were meeting when you first met Henry? No. Get that microphone close to you, Kelly. I don't want to miss a word. So he just came no, up to you as like a guy. You didn't know he was the famous mob guy. Right. Right. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> you are, Henry. Be still. Henry, what are you on this morning, really? And what are you? What drug? What drug? Prozac. What drug? Prozac. Prozac. Are you on Prozac? No. You've got to be on something, Henry. No way. Really? Alcohol medication? <laughs> Henry, you're on some police. Police. <laughs> Henry, Henry, you're on some you know, police. Henry, i got to tell you police. something. As I look at you now, I swear to God, I can't understand why the judge won't give you your custody of your child. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine you, you appearing in court and the judge not saying, i got to give the kid to Henry. Henry and uh, Kelly, you're trying to get custody of your child again, is that right? You're going through you're that, Kelly? You're sticking with him, Kelly? You're sticking with Henry? <laughs> I'm trying. You are. Is it hard to be with Henry? Uh... Yes. What's the pro what's the problem? Yeah. What is so difficult about being with Henry? He always calls us. He's a jovial guy. Yeah, he seems to keep Happy joking. Happy go lucky. You're a beautiful woman, by the way. Yeah. I say so. He's um. He has a problem. Yeah. What's his problem? Drinking. What? With his hands. With his hands? What? Oh. <gasps> Henry. Really? No, Robin. What do you oh, mean? Oh, shut up, Henry. <laughs> he, what do you mean? He's physical. He beats women, right? No, he doesn't beat women, no. Smack what does around. he do? He, he, he gets frustrated at times and takes his frustrations out in ways that he shouldn't. Really? Like, what do you mean? And, and, and I am... Um... Has he ever hit you? <laughs> was, I'm trying to get down to it. I'll, I'll come in there and buy. I'm looking at Henry. You can't you beat up Henry. Get down to it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I can beat up. You could beat him up. Kick his butt. But, yeah, right, yeah. But I choose not to. Really? Um, um, Henry's a great guy. Right. But he does have well, problems with his hands. He does. Now, how did you meet Henry? You met him where? I met him. My. I, my ex-husband introduced me to him. <laughs> Did your favor? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Henry is fun, right? I mean, we saw in Goodfellas, he loves to go to clubs, and uh, he loves well, to... See, I don't know that side of him. I've never I see. done that. Right. You met him when he was already in witness protection. Right. Right. So, yeah, so she met him when he said so they, I, they I, had I, to stay under a mattress. <laughs> right. And so, so Kelly, what was, the, mattress. what was the uh, attraction there to uh, Henry, that uh, he was an ex-mobster, kind of exciting? No, and because I really didn't even... Know that part of him. Know that part. I chose not to. Right. You know, I knew, I knew somebody else. You were just attracted to him. I was just attracted to him. He was, he was sweet. He was really. You know, he was yeah, kind. He was kind. He was funny. You know, he was a player. He right. Was, and then know. you guys dated a couple of times, and then uh, you made a kid. Yeah. Right. And, and when did he start having this problem with his hand? Oh, Howard. Yeah. Well, I got seven years into our relationship. Is that right? Yeah. What? Wait. What is that? To potassium. You always do. Hey, we're on on it. Henry, you can't say the answer. <laughs> Henry's throwing bananas and hitting me in the head with them, and uh, you do have a problem with your hands. Easy, Henry. No, Easy. Well, you always complain about. He's getting, getting upset. The... He's getting upset because nobody's paying attention to him. He's I know. He's Kelly. usually the the center of attention. You can't believe he finally got into our studio, and Kelly's the star. <laughs> Just smell a lot. First of all, now these teeth, you can barely talk. Am I correct? Yeah. What happened to you? I got this weird dent. Nah. You got a dentist, yeah. What happened? What happened? Oh, did he click in the sleep and write <laughs> Jenko your teeth out no, or something? No, they did not put me sleep. They did not give me no medication. This, uh, what are these dentures you have now? Oh, the, the, what do you call them? The pegs? Pegs. Oh, you oh, got you caps. Mean you, no, no, pegs. no. 
He's got those, uh, you know, like they took dental out all his implants? teeth and they did all implants. And they, and they got infected. And oh. uh, let me see. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. Look at that. Oh, they look nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk, but they look nice. You've got great looking teeth. Oh, now you can oh, take them out. No. <laughs> That's how we're using them. Oh, right. Oh, I know. Good. I'm glad you took them out because you can barely talk. That's uh, good. Keep them out. Keep them out. I know. This is a Yeah, yeah. I mean, really. Now I can hear you. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> Henry has no teeth. I mean, how old are you now? Seriously. 53. 53, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you have no teeth. I mean, you have no teeth because he doesn't practice good hygiene. He you don't brush properly, right? Is that what happened? Oh, yes. I mean, all those years of party and everything. See, I could see Henry being a mafioso killer. I could see it. Oh, I see it on you. Now that he's taking the teeth out, he looks like a killer. <laughs> but even when he had the teeth in, I could see Henry like killing Robin, I left your flowers on. I'm glad I did. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> So, because uh, seriously, you look 73. I got to tell you, without the teeth, it's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, really, yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> Henry, you went out with our E crew yesterday. Oh God! And you decided to reveal for the first oh. time where the bodies are buried. This is unbelievable. We have an exclusive right now. What I'm, is that, Henry? Drinking? Uh, a little Coca Cola. Is that Coca Cola? No vodka in there? No, nothing. You were not. But he has though. his own supplies, I think. Yes, he brought his own drinks. He doesn't uh, trust anyone. He's I afraid see. the mob could uh, at any time poison him. Isn't that correct? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even care at this point if the mob gets you, right? Uh, you know, life's over, oh, right? Man. Oh, man. <laughs> You've had enough, right? Oh. <laughs> you know, oh, do you still leave. enjoy living, Henry? Of course. You do. You do. You still have joy in your life. Yeah. And when is the last time you and Kelly made love? <laughs> Seriously. When is the last time the two of you be, were lovers, physically? Yeah. Kelly? A few days ago. A few days ago. So Henry still can deliver the goods? Yeah. He can. Yeah. That he does good. Yeah. yeah that is her. Uh, I think that's how he keeps her. I'm getting the impression that he must be good. Not all he's good at. <laughs> good for you, Henry. At least you're a man there, right? All inputs, uh, you guys? You enjoy everything? Doing it all? Yes. I see. All right. Hey, now. Does it make it better with the teeth in or the teeth out? I would think the teeth out. <laughs> you like the teeth out? <laughs> And your day you spent, uh, Henry, in hiding. You basically oh, yeah, you stay I, I, home. I'm, I'm, I'm a hider. <laughs> no, you stay at home, and you and Kelly. Is it get boring being in the house with Henry all the time, hiding, being on the run? Hey, I, not boring. Not boring. <laughs> not right. Boring. And you almost left him a couple of times because he smacks you around, right? I have mm -hmm. left him a couple of times. Yeah, but now you're back with him. You said, Henry, if you ever put your hands to me again, that's it. I'm leaving. Is Henry in counseling? If Henry puts his hands on me again, Henry's not going to be here. Oh, really? You're going to kill him? <laughs> yeah. Henry. You're going to whack him? Henry, don't do it because we enjoy talking to you. Right. <laughs> Henry, wouldn't that be amazing? You don't get whacked out by the mom, but you're whacked out by your girlfriend? Oh. That would be terrific. Let me say something. Can you see gorgeous? <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. Of course she is. All right. All right. So, so what does he do? He hits you, he chokes you, or he strangles no. you? What does he do? He hits me. My face is broken in three places. Oh, is that no, right? Henry. Henry, what's your story? I mean, you're a gentleman. What's the matter with you? You don't have to hit a girl. What? That's not you? Oh, who is it? Who is it? <laughs> is there somebody else in there with you? Yeah, Henry, let's explore. Like the exorcist. Uh, Henry, wh what goes out? What happens to you? Like, all of a sudden, you lose control? It happened once. It did happen once. Once, once happened. is enough if your face is broken in three places. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Henry scares me, man. Sorry, F easy, him. F him. Easy, F four Here's Louis the monster. Louis, who are you with, Louis? Well, well, what see. family are you with? Let me get him on the line. Let's see if he's uh, a real monster. Louis? Yeah. All right. Hey. You hate Henry, hey, right? I hate this scumbag stool pigeon. Oh. I hate him. Now, you're with the mob, right? <laughs> this is what you asked me last time. This is the, I'm the guy who, the last time somebody called, he says, oh, no, not that guy again, meaning me. No, I this mean. Guy, though, let me tell you something. He, he likes rat. using his he hands on women. He likes using his he likes using his hands on women, his rat bastard likes using his hands on women. Use them on men, you stool pigeon. You know, remember Frankie the Fair from Lefkowitz Boulevard? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, Frankie the Fag? Oh, yeah. You know Frankie the Fag, Henry? Oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah, you did damn right he knows Frankie the Fag. What are you talking about his escapades with Frankie the Fag? Uh -huh. Is that true, Henry? You had something going on with Frankie the Fag? That's not true, right? I was saying that. I never saw him. If Tommy D was around, forget about him. <laughs> is Louie a real mobster? About? Henry, a tough guy. Henry, is he, you're saying he's not a mobster? No. Really? No, Henry, what's with you? Are you, on, are you sedated today? No, of course we, not. Why don't you question this guy? Let's find out. For real. Come on, hey, you got nothing to say with somebody. Hey, where you at? With somebody going Yeah, oh, oh, where you at? You know where I'm at. Where you at, kid? Yeah, where you at? Where, where am I at? It doesn't make a difference where I'm at, but we know where you're at now. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. You're a big shot. What, are you going to hide behind your girlfriend's skirt? 
Huh? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, you don't well, think so. Henry's a tough man. You're, you're a tough man. You're a fag, just like Frankie. You and Frankie doing each other. <laughs> up in Tommy's apartment. Yes, what, I don't know what I'm talking about, huh? What posse are you with? Who are you with? Don't make a difference who I'm with. You with the Gambinos, the Daisies, the Bananas, or the... Who are you with? Who are you with? What family? That's all you know how to do is mention names. What family were you with? Henry, whose family were you with? Me? Lucchese. Lucchese family? Who are you with, guy? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I don't have to say who I'm with for nothing. Come on, come on, because you ain't with nobody. That's right. You're damn right I'm with nobody. You're right. What are you saying, Louis? Louis. Louis, what are you saying? That's that you don't mean really nobody. That, that's the first truth that came out of your mouth in, in 15 years. Louis, what are you saying? That you don't give up the name of your family because it could bring attention to them? Come on. Use your head. I would, of course. Right. I understand. All right. All right. Henry, he says he will not give the name of his family. But, but I hate when you have this little bitch and scumbag on the phone all the time. Well, he, uh, by the way, I'm with the Osmond family. <laughs> <laughs> I love that laugh, man. All right, so here's what I'm saying. I am going to uh, end this conversation between you two because Henry is now going to tell us where the bodies are buried. Right? Howard, you believe him? You believe in what he's saying? Shouldn't we find out, though, Louis? Uh, you know what? Then when he says, dig it up. That's Louis. what we're gonna do. We're gonna dig. Louis, we're gonna Louis, find Louis. what? We're gonna find dirt. That's all. Right. Because he, he don't know what he's talking about. Right. Have you ever whacked anybody, Louis? Howard. Tell come me on. the truth. Hey, come on, Louie, Louie, how are you at? Come on, come on, you made... Did they make you, Louie, Louie? Yeah, Louie, they make you, Louie. You make yourself off. Hey, Louie, they make you, Louie. The only thing you whack is yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice laugh. You got a great laugh. You could be made at this show. You know the old saying, he looks first, last, last. Yeah, take a walk. <laughs> take a walk. I can walk. I can walk, walk anywhere I want. You want to be daddy. I can walk anywhere I want. Daddy. Anywhere I want without having yeah. to put on a fancy, a mustache, change my face. I can walk anywhere I want to walk because I'm stand up. You, you're a stool pigeon. All right, Louie, thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. Stool pigeon. And I'm proud of it. Die. And I'm proud of it. You should I'm die. I'm proud of it. All right, that's it. All right, Louie and, and Henry obviously have their difference. They're a new tag team. Louie Louis saying uh, he don't want to say whether he's a made man. Henry teasing him by saying, you're not going to be made. You're not going to be made. Now, you know, here you are, Henry, you're in the later years of your life. Is it hard to sleep at night knowing about the different people who were whacked and some of the things you've done? Is it? Is it hard? No. It is not. You <laughs> sleep like a baby. <laughs> you never feel that? Do you ever think about some of the guys who are in the ground or anything? Never. Howard, there's no one around. Really? No no remorse? No, there's much remorse. There is much remorse. I see. All right, all right. Let's go to the tape now. Um, Let's find out from Henry where the bodies are buried. What is Henry saying? That there's remorse, but it doesn't keep you from sleeping. Right. Actually, there is a certain amount of remorse, <laughs> but uh, he sleeps like a baby. Is that true, Kelly? He sleeps next to you like a baby? He does? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Kelly looks like she's having a lot of fun. I know. This is, this is <laughs> really it's very hard for her, anyway. Yeah, she has right. a lot of remorse. Yes. All right, Henry, uh, now we're going to listen to, we're going to actually uh, go through this tape. You'll tell me what's going on here. The first thing that we're going to look at, Robin. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> is Jimmy's house. Now, oh. anybody who saw the movie Oh, Good we're Fellas, taking a tour of Good We're going to take a little tour, and then we'll oh, get to the body. God. This, uh, Henry brought us around yesterday. And you can see the screen, Robin. Mm -hmm. This is Jimmy's house. This is the actual house where after Henry, Robert yeah. De Niro, Jimmy and Joe Pesci. Jimmy was a Robert De Niro character. Yes. After Robert De Niro, Henry, and Joe Pesci. You know, I, I say that only so people will know. That after that happened... Now they look like blossoms. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you guys can kill the monitors every time I stop it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, here's the deal. Every time uh, Henry, after he whacked that guy... I've never whacked nobody. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. After those guys whacked <laughs> After that guy, somebody got whacked. After yeah, somebody got whacked, they went over to Jimmy's house to have dinner with his mom. Is right. that correct? Mom would mom always mom. cook for them. Right. Tommy's house. Tommy's, Tommy's house, right. right. Okay. Now we're going to look at the vacant lot across from Jimmy's house because why, Henry? Why am I looking at this right here? Is that where a body is buried? This is, this is a cemetery. This is a private cemetery. Oh, that's a private cemetery? Yeah. That's where you guys buried people? Yes. Is that so, now, who is buried in the vacant lot across from Jimmy's house? But why am I looking at that patch of weeds? <laughs> well, Tell me why you brought it. Patch. <laughs> why did we look at that patch? Seriously. Uh, there's, there's I can't a, hear you. What? There's, there's quite a few out there. Oh, is there? Now, who is there? Who is in that patch? Who could we find there? Quite a few. Like who? Quite a few. Well, you we, never told the feds about this? They never dug them up? You did tell them. 
Yeah. What the hell kind of well, did uh, you <laughs> told, and so they've been dug up? Why can you tell the feds, but you don't tell me? Howard. What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> don't come in here and not tell me who's there. Howard, you want to go on the what about What about the guy you kicked to death? The, um, uh, what's that guy? What's his name? Maid guy. The maid guy, yeah. Oh, Billy. Is he in there? Is Billy in there? No, 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 no. Where is Billy? Billy, Billy... Well, he was in Connecticut. We, we moved him from Connecticut. We had to move him. We had to unplant him. Right, right. We planted him. We unplanted him. <laughs> so you always bury these bodies, then dug them up and buried them again? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's take a look yeah, at this tape now. Here's Robert's Lounge. This is where that uh, kid got whacked. What's that kid's name? Spider. Spider. Spider got whacked by the Joe Pesci character. Yeah, and you're saying that underneath that building that we just saw, is that where Spider is buried? He's still uh, there to this day? No, well, no. There's a, there's a cavity. There's a cavity? A cavity in the ground, yeah. There's a cavity and? in the ground? I mean, yeah, you're, you're to, Get you're, close to that microphone, Henry. You have a microphone. You throw... You, you, you yeah, you throw what? You throw some lime on the body. You right, know. so you're saying that Spider was buried under there, that, that place we just saw. And you're saying the lime just ate up his body? Right. Ah. <laughs> oh. All right, next we're going to look at Tommy's mom's house. You remember Tommy? Who was sure, Tommy? that was the Joe Pesci character. Right, this is where you guys went, to Tommy's house. There we go. There's That's the house. the house? Now, with all the money that the, is in the mob, he couldn't get his mom a better house? Come on. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are yeah, you well, that's what are you a horrible about? house. <laughs> well, why not a nicer house? Seriously. That was a nice house. How did it feel going back to the house and seeing the house and seeing the old neighborhood? Not good. Not good? Why? Brought back bad memories? Yeah. All right. Who's in the yeah. house now? Yeah. Uh, some uh, they sold the house. Really? Oh yeah. oh yeah. That's what Henry's. Henry's weird. I think it's bumping him out. Henry's better on the phone, isn't he? No, oh, come on, Howard. Henry, you're not talking. What do you mean I'm not talking? What, what is it, Kelly? What's his problem today? Why? Why are you being so weird? This is real nervous for me. He is nervous. Yeah. He was nervous yesterday. What are you yeah. so nervous about? You're a guy who whacked tons of people. What I didn't whack nobody. nobody. You could be nervous whacking somebody. That I understand. Talking to me, you don't have to be nervous. Mm. All right. Tell me where the bodies are, for Christ's sake. Where's Give me an exclusive. Don't huh? do my hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen to me. Here is the sweet lounge. Now, why am I looking at this? What is the sweet lounge, Henry? <laughs> it says sushi. Oh, sushi. It says here S U I T E lounge. <laughs> sweet lounge. Yeah. What is a sweet lounge? <laughs> it's a sushi lounge. <laughs> you might tell me what it is. Sushi place. Henry, you might be the that worst interview ever. What is it? What am I looking at? That was a club I had on Queens Boulevard. A club you had on Queens. You own that place? Yeah. Well, nothing to be proud of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here is a doctor's house. Now, why am I looking at this? Was that the club where they kicked the guy? I don't know. No, Henry, that was the other place. Henry, Henry, why am I looking at a doctor's house? That's where we, you know, we should bring the bodies. Oh, that's where you bring the bodies. You bring it to a doctor's house? Explain well, it. No, no, no. Well, uh, you know, I mean, if it was a friend, you know, we, you know. And he was, he needed attention. Oh, I see. If one of your friends got shot in a mob-related thing, you couldn't bring him to the hospital. So there was a special doctor you could go to? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. And that's the doctor's place. Mm -hmm. right. That goes on. Okay. I thought I was going to see somewhere some dead bodies were buried, but uh, obviously I'm not. What is it, Gangy? What could you if add? You need, if you need, I was on the shoot, so I can explain if Henry's being a little quiet. Henry, Henry's mumbling over there. I, I can't believe it. Oh, uh, come on, Howard. Uh, nah, that's the heck. I, 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 I think Henry's real nervous. Is he, he nervous? He was very nervous all day. I mean, come on. Really? No, what are you nervous about? Come on, I'm in New York. Come on. You're nervous about getting whacked, you mean? Oh, that's what you're nervous about. I'm not a Oh, man, am I stupid? Well, Kelly's looking at me like, yeah. Well, he yeah. keeps saying he's not nervous about getting whacked. Yeah. I'm not, how are you nervous about getting whacked? What? I, I, I'm not nervous about getting whacked. Only if somebody's coming after I you. I squeal on the mob. <laughs> oh, I see what you're nervous about. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, you're afraid you're going to get it today, huh? Mm. Uh-oh. Well, I better get you out of here. Yeah, yeah. Check out. <laughs> All right, here's a couple of people want to talk to you, Henry. This is oh, Carl. Dear. He says Henry owes him money. Carl, does Henry owe you money? Hello. Yes. Yeah, listen, this is uh, Carl Russo. Carl, you know, you know him? Go, yeah, well, he owes me $55 from 1978. <laughs> <laughs> do you know Carl Russo, Henry? Henry do you listen, know? Uh, well, let me, let me divulge who I really am. I was known as Gingivitis Gus. All right. <laughs> do you know, do you know this guy, Henry? Henry, look at me. Do you I know, know this guy? Don't you don't know him. him. All right. Uh, this is Joe. His friend's father was killed by Henry. Hey, Howard. Yeah, now you say your friends... Now, Henry claims he never killed anyone, but... Well, no, you know, you were, you were talking about it before, about that one scene in the movie with uh, Joe Pesci and Robert De Niro and Henry Hill stood over. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was my friend's dad, and it just sickens me to hear this guy talk like that. I mean, I, you know, it's it's one of my best friends. And right. Well, he grew you... up without a father because of this. Was his father in the mob? Yeah, he was in the mob. I see. That... And uh, so Henry whacked him? 
Well, no, Henry stood there, well, you know, that one scene in, in Goodfellas, where they're at the bar, and Henry's standing there, mm -hmm. and he goes and shuts the door, and De Niro and Joe Pesci wind I up see. killing him, and then they take him on the road, and they shoot him, they stab did, him, they did, bury him. Did you ever learn where he was buried? No, of course. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out, all this stuff. Well, I'm just saying, it just drives me crazy to hear this jerk on the radio. I mean, he, uh, you know, he made a widow out of, out of my friend's mom, you know, kids to raise the whole nine yards. Right. You know, and, okay. Well, there you go, Henry. You got anything to say know, to this it, guy? It, you know, it's not, you know, it seems like, you know, it, it's just nothing to him, you know? Henry's chewing gum without any teeth. That's wonderful. No, he's stuck it on candy. Oh, is that what he's doing? <laughs> Henry, do you have anything to say to this guy? Domino's no best come, here come spirit, to to. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey. Uh, here is Gloria, Gloria yes. Lu Lucchese. Lu Lucchese. Let me turn my radio off, John. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. This is Howard. Wait, wait, wait. Howard. Who is this? This is Howard. You're on Howard. the air. Oh, hi, Howard. Yeah, Gloria, uh, you hate Henry, right? I hate him. The Lucchese family, a very well-known family. Yes. Why do you hate Henry? Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to ask Henry and his girlfriend a question. Go ahead. Uh, I'd like to know why they lost their child. Well, because mm -hmm. they lost custody. But why? Why? Because he's in the mob. Because he's in the mob. Guys that are in the mob. Because of an incident between my daughter and myself. It had nothing to do with Henry. It had nothing to do with anything with this program. It was an incident between my daughter and myself. Thank you. Oh. Well, that's not a good enough answer because uh, it's going to have to be. Well, I can't hear you. Can you speak a little louder? She said it's Who an cares? incident. She said it's an incident between her. You know. And by the way, I want these telephones fixed. My father said, called me last night. He said, you know when you call into the show, when you talk on the phone, you can't hear me? Oh, is that right? Is that right, so Gloria? You, you cannot hear me, right? Your old man was so great in the movie. Uh, yeah, that you was, needed an old man yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah you needed <laughs> no, one to yell at you. Stupid. Yeah, you uh, you know, excuse me, I still didn't get an answer to my question. Stupid. Because he comes on the show. Excuse me, let me just finish for a minute. Okay? Yeah, go ahead. Interrupt go ahead. He comes on the show. He complains that uh, he lost his child. Right. Uh, that black people are raising his child. And by the way, Henry, if you were a real mob guy, I'd like to see, I'd like to see a real mob guy let somebody take his child away from him and put it into a black family. Okay, it, it's not... Well, 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 what's the matter with black families? Wait a second. And you, you know, what are you, you, you're you a stupid greaseball? I'm sorry, I'm not listening. You're a greaseball. I'm a greaseball. You're a greaseball. I'm a greaseball. My friend, I use the word loosely. And I, I have right? things to call you, okay, but I won't do that. I think everybody knows what you are. You're a I'm rat. rat. I'm a rat. All right. Well, there you go. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Henry's got a real fan club, don't he? <laughs> Even the mob people. It's, uh, it's hard, isn't it, Henry, to come back to New York and have everybody uh, yelling at you, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I think we'll go home now. You really? You had enough of this. Yeah. All right. Let me see what else is going on yeah, here. On, on. Let me see if we got anything. This is uh, Gotti's former social club. Mm -hmm. you took his, did you used to go in there and party with those guys? Oh, yeah. You did. You were friends with John Gotti? Mm -hmm. All right. Here is a tape of a Gotti's former restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> what do you... What, I mean, isn't this stuff we can... Everything is former. Uh, yeah, Gotti is <laughs> former. Now we're looking at something. Uh, this is Henry, and uh, he seems to be talking on this tape. Let me see what this is. This is... Um, oh, this is... Oh, oh. This what? is Henry driving by Jimmy's. Now, what is Jimmy's again? That's the... Which guy is that? Which character is that? That was Robert De Niro, right? Yeah. And what happened here, Ganji? This, this is at Jimmy's house. Yeah. He is actually talking on that one. I guess if you can get the audio up. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm my own engineer. You'll have to give me a second. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable what I have to do to run this, this is show. very sophisticated equipment. Yeah. All right, here we go. The first or the second. I think it's the first or the second one. That's the second house there. There you are. And why are you nervous? Let's see. Yeah, I don't... This, is one. this is uh This is uh, Jimmy's private cemetery. And it's still here. I don't believe it. Let's go fast through here, this white Mercedes. I don't want to be seen by it. Okay, go. Wow. Wow. There is Henry being nervous. Go, 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 go. Driving, driving. driving. Go, go, go. Let's get out of here. Come wow. And uh, Henry, why are you nervous there? You're feeling that you're driving by... Who was in that white Mercedes? Who was in the white Mercedes? You were nervous? I have no idea. You thought you were going to get hit over there? No. No. He was real nervous at that point. Really? Because if, if you, he's in the limo in the back... And he was sort of pressed against the seat. Well, he's real mob stuff. By the window. Unbelievable. He Henry. was all in the back. Henry, so, we, so you were afraid that the mob was after you there, right? Well, he just didn't that's, want to be noticed in that neighborhood. That's, all right. That's a real... So you figure there's still plenty of mob people right around that area. Right. Is that it? Well, they, I mean, they're still there. Yeah. I here's, know. here's Henry getting all upset because uh, he starts naming the guys he hit and he gets a little emotional and makes mm. us turn off our cameras. Here's Henry getting nuts. Now, do me a favor, just count on your hands if you can the number of people that you, that you know died and, and 
you you had buried. You didn't have a... Well, I mean, the, 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 yeah, the names, of course. The rainbow, um, uh, the spider, uh, uh, Joey, uh, I forgot the candle for a second. I don't know anything about that. You started crying, Henry. You got you get that upset about it, huh? Man. Wow. Are you so upset right now? Are you upset? No. No? No? <laughs> No, he's just not talking. I, I don't know. It's weird. Henry's better on the phone. Henry's all, I think Henry's really scared he's going to get hit while he's here in New York. Yeah, we're not going to hit you. I'm not going to whack you. Don't worry. It's only us. Dude, it's just us here, you know? I mean, what happens when you go outside is your business. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you got enough cops out there. <laughs> I hope so. Good Lord. Listen, Henry. Are you nervous you want to get out of here? No, no. I think you are. I think you want to get out of here. You want me out of here, Howard? No, I don't want you out of here. Howard, you want me out of here? <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I ought to get him out of here. I don't know what we're doing here. I was going to let Henry play the Mike Walker game because we had to do that next. Oh, come on. Well, let's I wanna, do I wanna, it. I want to play. <clears throat> what do you want to play? Uh, Mike Walker game? What's the Mike Walker game? The one with the National Enquirer game? Maybe you better not. No. Uh, you don't want to play that game? Okay. <laughs> what? What is it? Uh, Kelly, you want to leave? You're nervous? No, I'm fine. You are fine. I'm fine. Henry, you want to play the game? Sure. Now, Kelly, after you found out I mean, that he was a, a mob guy, did you want to run? It, it was so far into it. You can close that microphone. It yeah. was so far into How many years had you known him before you found out who he really was? Probably about four. Five. Wow. I mean, I, you know, I had ideas. Yeah. I had been told, but... You know, I, I didn't meet that person. That wasn't my business. Uh -huh. Henry's looking at me like he's in love with me or something. And I don't know. So when I did find out, it was... You were already oh, in well, yeah. but, you know, I mean, I knew somebody else. But when um, you hear him talking about these stories of, you know, having done it all, you know, I mean. Yeah, and I see, I, I'd be, you know, had I known, you know, had I known. <laughs> yeah. Uh, know. What is it, Doug? Is Kel Kelly was real impressed yesterday, I guess, going around, and as Henry's pointing out these places, yeah. she's like, wow, you did that there. Wow, I'm trying to picture you doing this. I'm trying to picture you oh, doing I that. Oh, I think she's into it. I oh, think yeah. she likes being with a bad You're guy. You're a mob, babe. And then, you know, there's all these, like, guys walking the streets, and Henry's going, hey, that's a wannabe. Hey, that's a wannabe. Yeah. And she's going, oh, is that you? Is that how, how you used to do it? No, Henry wasn't a wannabe. Henry was one of the guys. Well, well he yeah. couldn't actually get into the mob. Right. No. Well, because he was Irish. Then yeah. he's a wannabe. Hey, want to play the Mike Walker game? Maybe that'll get you talking. Okay. Because okay. you're nervous as hell, man. I've never seen you like this. No, no, no. What? I can't, uh, you know, I... What? I don't know. What? I don't know. You, you can't get your rhythm? He's used to being anonymous. Yeah, he's... he's, he's maybe you need, want us to put a fake beard in glasses on him? Would you feel better doing that? <laughs> it's unbelievable, man. Look at this guy. He's like Superman. He needs his glasses. Isn't it amazing, like, a guy who could, like, whack guys and do and do all that I stuff? I always love people always nervous around the me. the stuff that they do that's Alex, so heinous they can I'm do. But you. talking to us is nerve-wracking. I'm impressed that I can make Henry Hill shake in his pants. Yeah. I like that. I like that. That makes me feel like a man. I can't believe you want to go call me from the jock lounge. See, they ought to have you interview these guys because you make them shake. I know. I can get them to confess. Unbelievable. Why, thank you, Henry, but you can't have me. All right, give me the Mike Walker game. Let's see if Henry can play a game. Let's put him on a game show for God's sake. Oh God. All right, here we go. All right, give me the intro and let's uh, make this thing rock. Let's see if Henry can do better. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know, did Ellen DeGeneres get locked in her high school lunchroom over an entire Christmas vacation with nothing to eat but tuna fish? You won't accept a guy's tongue in your mouth and you're going to eat that? I want to know. Did Patrick Ewing run to the side of the basketball court during a timeout to feel how Woody Allen made sushi to me? I want to know. Did ex Beatles Paul McCartney try to bribe every radio station in the country in order to get them to play his frighteningly lame music? I want to know. Robin Quivers tries to scoop up Christopher Lee's horse for cheap after the nag throws for Chris on his ass. Robin Force Blaze gets jealous and seeks a huge advance for a tell-all book on her. I want to know. The whole world wants to know this Let's find out all the facts with Mike Walker, gossip editor for the National Enquirer. Amazing 
Finally, we have uh, Henry Hill here to play the game. He is giving hand signals to Robin during the entire intro for Mike Walker. <laughs> Mike, you there? I'm here, Howard. Yes, we have uh, a celebrity guest today, <laughs> ex-mob yeah? ex member Henry Hill, who's going to play the game with you. Oh, Henry Hill. Yes. Oh, I'm a fan. Well, let me tell you something. I know you, you personally like to go out and ruin people's lives, and so does Henry. So uh, you guys have a lot in common. <laughs> you both did the same thing. Uh, both Irish. Yeah, Henry's a little nervous today because, in all seriousness, uh -huh. he's here without a disguise. He's no longer in witness protection and is afraid uh -huh. of getting whacked. So we must move the game along quickly because Henry can get whacked out right after the game. Time. We could be seeing Henry on this planet for the we last time. We need to finish time. the okay. game before that happens. Right, Henry? That is possible. Isn't it true? This is true. Yeah, it is true. Uh, has Henry heard the game before? Has he played? Of course, is, of course. You know how to play the game seriously? Okay, mm -hmm. you do. All right. Uh, just just to give a refresher, Mike Walker is the national editor for the National Enquirer. The gossip he is the top guy. He also is on Geraldo every Friday. He has two television shows in development, two specials for the National Enquirer. What and, is this beeping, uh, Mike? Uh, the federal government has to <laughs> monitor everything that is going on Very in this good. particular <laughs> episode of the Mike Walker game because of Henry's presence here. Uh, also, uh, Mike Walker has a syndicated radio program. He is going to give us four stories right now. Hey, Mike. All right. <coughs> what is it, Henry? You want to say something to Mike? Hi, Mikey. Hi, how are you doing, Henry? Hey, hi, Mikey. Everything going all right? Yeah, pretty good. If he was in the mob, wouldn't we call him like Mikey the Gossip or, you know, Mikey oh, the... Oh, no, Mikey the Mouth. 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 Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Mikey the Mouth. <laughs> He's going to give us four stories. You should be good at this, Henry, because you are a guy who uh, usually has to tell whether guys are lying or not before you whack them. That's right. Right. So there are going to be four stories. One of them is untrue. You try to figure out which one is not true. Okay, let's go, Mike. Okay. Michael Richards, who plays Kramer on Seinfeld, it has always been a cheapskate that he's getting terminal about it. He takes open bottles of shampoo back for credit to stores. He snags piles of snack food and paper plates from the craft services table on the set of the show. His latest stunt is bringing home bottled water. He puts about six a day in his bag, ending up with about a case a week. Sounds like Jackie the Joke Man Martling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would be like, hey, what's this? All this bottle of water is going to go to waste. Might as well bring it home. And when he hasn't got a limo when he's not on assignment for Seinfeld and he has to take a taxi, he never takes a taxi at an airport without talking somebody into sharing the ride into town with him. Oh, what a bummer. Henry's smoking now. He's choking me out of here. Henry, 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 put that out, will you? That thinks you're killing us. You can go without a cigarette for a few moments. Yeah, just a few moments. <laughs> He's afraid it might be his last one. <laughs> go ahead, Michael Richards, Chief. Go ahead. Okay. Airline passengers got gassed on a recent flight, but it wasn't a terrorist attack. It was just Paula Abdul's new hubby, Brad Breckerman, who just couldn't stop easy eating, eating his stomach discomfort. <laughs> what are you nervous oh, about, Henry? How much did you drink? <laughs> Paula, <laughs> Paula was cringing in embarrassment as her mate kept blowing in the wind. But that didn't stop her from uh, reeking, uh, that's the Japanese reeking, Interesting. of the news uh, in a press interview. All right, go ahead. Now, here's a related story. Yes. Brad should try Suzanne Summers' diet. Suzanne claims that she has not passed gas for six years. And why is that? The Thigh Master Queen says that she never combines carbohydrates with proteins or fats. Instead, Howard, she mixes only carbs and vegetables, which makes no sense at all. Right, absolutely, but go ahead. Number, okay. number four. Number four is Dan Aykroyd to the rescue, well, sort of. When he saw a man snatch a lady's purse outside his uh, House of Blues nightclub in L.A., Dan roared after the fleeing guy on his motorcycle. He jumped off, tackled him like an avenging hell's angels. Then he yelled for onlookers to call the cops. A woman runs up and says, that's my husband. He took my purse so he wouldn't have, I wouldn't have money to buy drinks. He's trying to get me to stop drinking. Aykroyd said, okay, have a nice day, and went back to the Batcave. We have four stories here, Henry. I want Dan Aykroyd is a woman. What was that? Uh, Dan Aykroyd. He's already ready to vote. You right. didn't even recap. Hold on a second. Let me recap first. Think about it carefully, okay? Number one, Michael Richards from Seinfeld, infamously cheap to the point that he's taking bottled water from the set. The guy makes millions of dollars. Number two, airline passenger Paula Abdul's husband, passing wind. Number three, Suzanne Summers says, hey, never mind passing wind. Haven't done it in seven years because of my exclusive diet. Number four, Dan Aykroyd on a motorcycle chasing somebody down. You go figure it out. All right, let's go to Henry Hill. Our guest. And Dan. I love how you do that, Howard. Very, Thank very good summation. Thank you. Thank you. And, really uh, good. Henry, uh, what, are you, what are you thinking? What's going on in that demented mind of yours? The, the demented mind of me is, 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 is the House of Blues over there on, uh, I can see Dan jumping on a... You can see that. 
Oh, yeah. You think that's the false uh, story or the real story? The true story. You think that's the true story? Three of them are true. <laughs> I mean, one is no false. Which one, do you think is, which one do you think is wrong? Which story do you think Not is false? True. Oh. <laughs> Imagine that. Let's come back to him. Imagine that. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me tell you. Why do you think it's false? Well, let me let me go there. Right. Okay, L listen to me carefully. I'm going to pick out the false one. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Michael Richards being cheap and stealing bottled water, I could believe because I've seen it with Jackie, so I could believe it in him. Uh, the airline thing, Paul Abdul's husband passing gas. Well, let me tell you something. I pass wind on airplanes all the time, and you cannot hear a person passing wind. And that's the God's honest truth. I can't imagine. Now, a couple of times people have smelt them, but I just deny it. So what are you saying? You Suzanne don't believe Summers, that? I don't. First of all, I think Suzanne Summers just is one of those people like you, Robin, who doesn't pass wind in public and just can, has. I know. I have tried eating uh, that that combination all of food. All kinds of food combinations. And I pass wind no matter what. And Dan Aykroyd, it's hard to believe he could jump on a motorcycle and chase him, but so he's a pretty crazy guy. Fault. No, the <laughs> false story is Paul Abdul's husband blasting away on the mm -hmm. plane because there is no way that uh, that that could be true because you can't hear it. So I'm going with that one. Henry, now do you want to make a decision? Yes. Go ahead. But no, now, Henry, you Come talk. on, go ahead. Go ahead. It. Pick a story, Henry. You don't need a warning. Don't hold up the game, Henry. Go ahead. Henry, get close to the microphone and pick. Help me. Uh -huh. yeah, right. Let's go back to Henry. Somebody else. Henry, we'll go back to you in a minute. Take your time. Take your time. Keep right. looking for a, re a story. Here. Henry has one eye on the door, making sure nobody wow. comes through and whacks him. Okay, let's go to uh, Robin Quivers. All right, this is a tough one this week because they all sound false. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'm going to go with the Paula Abdul story as well. Good, Robin. I, I uh, you know, we're probably wrong, but I don't care I what my I can't help it. I just don't think you Remember know. last week, Howard and Robin both won. Hen that, means, that means we're sure losers. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, do you Never want to choose a story that. now, or do you still want to wait? Henry, go ahead. Uh, well, my lady no, no, I want you to do it, Henry. I want my lady to do it. Uh, well, Henry, Henry. Uh, look, you got a guy who's a cheap guy. You know who Michael Richards is, right? On on Seinfeld, you watch that show, right? Say, you better let his girlfriend do it. We could be here all day. Who, who, who do you think, Kelly? Go ahead, Kelly. Same as you, Paul Abdul. Paul Abdul. Paul Abdul. All, right. all right. Okay, I'll put that. I'm with you guys. And who else is playing? Uh, Jackie Jokeman Martin. Hi. Um, as bad as Suzanne Summers needs publicity, I don't think she'd talk about her farts. So oh, I, know what Suzanne Summers. I ain't betting money this week. All right, let's go now to the expert, Fred. I assume you can't play this I week. I cannot play this week because I had a part. Win the, uh, See, I needed to win know win. that before we started to play. Oh, you no, did? Uh, I, yeah. I didn't know that, but... What's the difference? Don't make it yeah, Because make... sometimes I can see Fred's handiwork if I'm really <laughs> looking for it. That's well, let's go now to the expert, the man in the know, Who? Mike Walker. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it is absolutely true uh that it's 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 a little hard to believe Suzanne Summers would talk about her own uh uh passing of gas, but she she did. So that is absolutely a true I uh item. Yeah, I did so. And the related item is true, Howard. I mean I'm surprised that you would say, Well you can't hear that. I you mean can. yeah, you can't hear it, but you don't have to hear it. You can smell it. Yeah, but who's gonna know he's doing Well he's saying Paula owned up Paula. Paula was upset. Please. She figured everybody was you know smelling. And she told you about this? Yeah, well, not me directly. That's crazy. Go ahead. You talk to people right. on the plane and they talk to me. And the motorcycle thing, while wacky, is absolutely true. So the phony uh, one is Michael, Michael Richards. Richards. I you see, if you told me psycho. about Fred being a part of it, Robin. I would have picked oh, that stop. one. Stop, Robin. Sure. Mellow out. <laughs> Every week you've got the same story. <laughs> I got the well, <laughs> Henry, you know, you didn't win, Henry. In fact, Henry, you never ended up playing because you couldn't pick a story. Did well, I no win? one won this week. No one won. Henry Hill, uh, you did not win. You sucked us all in, Mike. Mike Walker, thank you so much. Oh, not at all. It's a great game. Everybody read the National Enquirer. Look for Mike on Geraldo and listen to his syndicated radio show, soon to be on television. Mike Walker, always a pleasure. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. All right, there you go. And uh, there's Mikey the Tattletale. We've got Henry Hill. Henry Mikey the Mouth. Tattletale. Henry, obviously you are shaking in your boots. You're nervous. I've never seen you like How this. How long has it been since you've been in New York? Fifteen years. Fifteen, 15 years. years. And he, uh, you know who he looks like a little bit now? Love him. Now that he lost the weight, he looks like Sid Caesar. <laughs> 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 you look a little like him, really, Henry. <laughs> Just my... What? You don't like that uh, analogy? Anyway, Henry... Who do you want to look like? <laughs> oh, you look like Robert Redford, so... <laughs> Kelly, uh, remember, don't stand too close to Henry leaving the building. <laughs> yeah, just be your own good if you love living. Bobby, she wants to go uh, riding. With you? Not with me. <laughs> you want to go horseback riding? Have you ever done it before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have horses. Oh, you, yeah? Ha you have horses, Henry? <laughs> where do you get money, Henry? Yeah, where do you have money? I <laughs> <laughs> oh, he laughed. <laughs> Henry, did you, uh, did you put it aside some money after uh, you were busted? No. Never? Mm -hmm. So where do you get money for horses? Mm -hmm. I tell them. 
Well, I didn't. We just have horses. <laughs> but I'd like to go riding while I'm here. Uh -huh. well, how do you get money for horses? <laughs> Come on. That's fascinating. <laughs> the hay. Feed the hay? I mean, the hay. He never makes any sense. No, he's some he interview. Makes sense somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but not here. So you got to get him on the phone and get a couple of drinks in him. Anyway, uh, Robin, seriously, she wants to ride. Okay. So what do you want her to do? Yeah. Want to fuck. Oh. Really? Do you have a bulletproof horse, Robin? Oh. <laughs> you know that Henry named uh, his horses after the people he whacked. Well, to Henry, you got a good name for a horse. I'm looking for one. Dark. Stains. Target. <laughs> Target. Target. <laughs> Come. Come, Stains. Oh, yeah. All right, Henry, no, no, no. congratulations on your triumphant trip to New York uh, <laughs> and not being whacked so far. I suggest, uh, are you going to get out of town quickly? I'll see you at Studio 54 tonight. All right. Studio 54, you're going to go. Are you really going to go to Copa? We're going to go to Copa tonight? You're going to the Copa? Yeah, we're going to go You're going to hit the clubs, huh? You're, it's just going to be like the old days, just like when you were on top of the oh, world. Um, yeah. Wow. Good for you, Henry. It's a shame Frank Sinatra isn't singing anymore. You could get front row seats. Get down, honey. <laughs> I think Henry would be working the door now. <laughs> Do you miss that? Do you miss being able to walk right into the Copa, get the front row seats? Come on. Uh, no. You don't miss no. that a little bit? No, don't no, worry, Howard. Come on. Do you miss it? Will you miss it? Would I miss it? I never got front row seats at the Cope. <laughs> I don't know what it's like. All right. Anyway, listen. Uh, Ike Turner just called me. He said, Henry's frightening. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, good luck with your uh, trip to New York. And uh, when are you leaving? Seriously, you got to get out of town quick, right? Right, Kelly? Yeah. That's no. smart. Okay. No? Yes? No? Yes, we're yeah. leaving... Immediately. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Smart move. Judge waiting. Yeah, keep, <laughs> keep the engine going. <laughs> like, right. Have to make a fast getaway. All right. And, uh, Henry, you have given up the life of crime. Is that correct? I have. I have. All right. Okay. There he is. Henry Hill. Well, you know, in All Cindy right. Adams' comment today, they say that Sammy the Bull Gravano is still on the uh, payroll. That there are mob guys who have a fund that they uh, pay him from. Because so he can support a very lavish lifestyle. According to the mob guys, they're saying they uh, like he, Sammy the Bull because he... Uh, Sammy took $20 million with him. He did? He says he has money left over from his days in the mob. Right. And he says there's a fund that guys kick into every month to pay him. Because they, he's Because glad he, he talked about the people they wanted off the street. Really? Not the, the guys who are paying him money. Henry must have socked away a couple no. of bucks. No. no. Broke. Broke from all the coke deals and everything, really broke. broke. You are, broke. you are broke. No, broke. Always good with money, huh? Henry? <laughs> <laughs> easy come, easy go. Anyway, there he is, Henry Hill. How he? He revealed nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we learned nothing. We flew him to New York. We did learn that he has no teeth. Yeah, he has no teeth. <laughs> we learned nothing from the interview. He Howie. barely said anything. Thanks, Howie. Tell me where Jimmy Ho Jimmy Hoffa is for real. Tell me something. Give me. Why some would he know where Jimmy Hoffa was? He says he knows. Did you say you that? want to know? Yes. Did I want to know. know. We want to know. All right. All right. Do you know that stadium? Yes. The football stadium. Giant stadium. You're saying he really is there? He is. He is. He is. All right. Howard. <laughs> I want some information. <laughs> what do you want? You want an exclusive, Howard? Yeah. I'm looking for yes, something. Yes, of course you want, want an exclusive. Tell me when? something nobody when? knows. Nobody. 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 Nobody knows. A nobody. sneaker. One lousy goddamn Do you have any more secrets in there? Did you tell oh, everything? Uh, no, I, I, no. You have some secrets. I do. Give me one. Don't you think I got an ace in a hole? Give, yeah. Give me one Don't good one. Don't you think one. I got an ace in a hole? Yes, you do. I got about two aces in a hole. I think you always figure it out. Give I got one of them. Give me one of your aces. <laughs> tell me one thing. How you want to have yeah, it? One thing nobody knows. How Please. I, uh, give I don't me want to jeopardize you. No, jeopardize me. Everyone is listening. No, please. 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 He knows nothing. He knows nothing. He doesn't know anything. There's a anything. secret in him. Unbelievable. They wrung them all out of him. Right. <laughs> Howard, they did not... They did not what? They didn't get everything? No. What did he say? They didn't get everything. Is that what the exclusive I mean, is? I missed it. <laughs> what was the exclusive? <laughs> saying that they didn't get everything. Right. He does have secrets. Well, He's I don't know. I'm waiting to hear one. I mean, for God's sake. Come on. Was JFK a mob hit? Oh, come was on. Was John F. Kennedy a mob hit? Of course. It was. It was? Uh, of course. Of course. You're not making that up? <laughs> but he said that about everything. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Who's going to win the NBA playoff? The Bulls. The <laughs> I could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> what Why is that? Is anything other than that? You know it's easier to talk to Fred than it is to Henry Hill. No. There's already a New York Post photographer waiting for Henry out front. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a reporter. A reporter. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Henry, Probably. did you have any surgery to change your looks? In surgery? Are you kidding? Uh, he yeah, changed it, but I think he did it without surgery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll say. <Peter> Harry. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving Gary the evil eye. Papa Boo. Papa Boo. Sorry. Oh, you want to talk to uh, Gloria Lucchese again? She wants yeah, you to talk to her again. All right. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, one okay. more time. Yeah. Gloria. Yeah, yeah, Gloria. Yeah. Yeah. All right, listen. Yeah, my dad. Okay, Gloria. Right now, I have young conference. Go ahead. Who's on the phone? Yeah, me. Yeah, go ahead. Right, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Howard. Hold on, all right? Go ahead. All right, hold on one second. Right. I have to push this online. All right, who is on conference? I don't know. She hold on. Know. Hold on, please. Okay, quickly. Hello? There'll be somebody. Howard? Here. Yes. Okay. Who is in conference? I'm sorry, you're speaking to me? Oh, I had, I had, no, not conference. I have, uh, Call I have conference on my phone. I quickly, uh, I know you have a point. Uh, yes, I do. All right, let me, let me say something. Just make it, uh, make I, it I'm going to make it brief. Yeah. I'm going to make it very brief. Right. Your father was the mob figure, uh, Lucchese? It doesn't no. make a difference who it was. No, who, who, how are you related to the Lucchese family? I was married. You were married into it? Yes. So you were a mob mall. Yeah, and my husband's in jail for 20 years right now. Okay, all right, thank all you right. very much. Go but ahead. That's not the point. Right. The you point I want to make is the government. that I want to commend you on having such a lovely couple on your show. Because I still didn't get an answer to what I called for. Well, I'm not sure what it, what it is you want. Me. Let me finish. They say, I want to I wanna, I wanna, I wanna give, give, give your better half uh, some advice. When he walks out of there... God knows how they're going to get him out of there, and I can't wait. But when he walks out of there, I'd advise you to walk about six blocks back. Because when they get finished with him, they're going to splatter him all over. And that if you're too close to him, the last thing that's going to hit you is his tongue. No, I'm not going anywhere near him. Excuse me, I'm not He's talking to so that's Kelly. Oh, you're talking to Kelly. A long time ago. Kelly, uh, I'd like to know why you lost your child in this country. What is it, Andrew? People Andrew? wouldn't give a white family to raise their child. So I'd like to know how you did that one. Aside from the fact that he's a scumbag, grease ball, how do you wish you were a grease ball? Oh, my goodness. You're just a make-believe pushover for them, and then you squealed on them. Yes, well, uh, all right. Well, you made that point Let 900 times. Let me tell you You made that point 900 times. When you call up, and I'm sick and tired of listening to you, you call up, you seem like you're a little high. Uh, about a half hour later, you're flying, baby. You ain't drinking. People think you're not drinking. Henry, you're anything you want to say to her? Before. Is there any, nothing. Henry doesn't even want to address this. I, I'm sure he doesn't. Because he's scared to death. Oh, yes, he is. All right, oh, Gloria. Yeah. Thank you. He, he, he doesn't want to respond. Sammy, as far as Sammy, yeah, Sammy, I want to be something. like you. You think the mob likes Sammy? Forget about it. They ever get... You think You think that um, uh, Gotti's kid is going to let Sammy walk around free when his father's in jail for the rest of his life? No, that's you what I thought. Yeah. I know people that are in jail for 25 years and have right. to serve Thank you, Gloria. Years. Thank you. Right. Where can right. I from? Wait till you walk out. I'm telling you, girl, you better walk six blocks behind. All right, Gloria. the last thing that's going to hit you is his tongue. Hey, G. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Gloria, Thank give you me some uh, sound advice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What was that about? What is it, Ganji? It was really funny. When we were driving around yesterday, Henry kept making all these phone calls. I guess he had to pick up some sort of package. Oh, really? And, and I guess uh, one of the guys who was still in the car said it was, I guess, a big envelope full of money. Oh, really? You got some money yesterday? Is that true? Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, Henry's uh, giving Ganji the evil eye. I don't know. <laughs> Henry, uh, Henry, listen to me. Howard. If you go out, uh, you better get out of town quick. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Trust me. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to rock the Senate. All right. Uh, come on. <laughs> Wingo Dill neighborhood. Yes, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, get Henry out of there now, Howard. Really? I'm telling you. Henry, listen to me. Your life is at stake right now as we speak. You better get your butt out of there now. What My cousin's doing? waiting for you with a high-power rifle. He's going to blow your head off. Get out of there now. Ooh. Henry, please, Ooh. now if you want to live. Oh, Ooh. man. Henry, maybe it is time I'm to leave. I'm scared. <laughs> earlier than we Hey, let me tell you something. All right, look at me. I got... I got... I, I, what am I wearing? What are you wearing? A brown jacket and a uh, checkered shirt? Yeah, checkered shirt and a brown jacket. All right, and you don't care? Do me a favor. Yeah. Kill. Kill. <laughs> kill. Kiddo. You can't understand kiddo. one word he's saying. Kiddo. Kiddo. Yes, I heard you. Oh, kiddo. Yeah, All he right. didn't say kill. He All said right. kiddo. Do All me right. a favor, kiddo. You want to get out of the building, repel down the side of the building. Oh. All right, Henry. <laughs> Henry, you're here. You're in New York. You made your trip. Thank you so much for coming in. I want to thank Kelly for coming in there. You two be careful. Don't smack each other around. Try to keep that under control, okay? All right. Henry Hill, everybody. It's been an exhausting morning. <laughs>why I'm telling him to just call in and straighten the whole thing I mean, out. don't you think that Hugh Grant is still seeing hookers? Oh, I think so, yeah.
Police. Police. Whenever you see it, what do you so. think? Hey, you want to hear a bitch of a story real quick? What? Uh, Henry Hill was on our show Friday. Yes. And he came in, and he didn't have a thing to say, and he was just like, you know, he was just like in a coma. So, you know what was really funny? I thought about that tape. You know, he was supposed to be giving us a video tour of where bo bodies were buried, yeah. and it turned out to be a real estate film <laughs> yeah. where he showed us how. <laughs> well, anyway, so Henry went on Geraldo after our show. Broke down on the show, and his girlfriend admitted she was a heroin addict. Yeah, kidding. And and and, uh, and then I guess Henry admitted that he had some drug problem. I had read it. I read in the paper that he admitted that he was wasting away because of his alcohol and drug addiction. Yeah. And they did have the pictures of this big fat Henry Hill. Yeah. In a beard, you know, with dark glasses, the guy we were used yeah. to seeing. And we of course flew him in and did all the, you know. Um, um, have had Henry on the phone. And, like, if he's going to give an exclusive, why don't he tell us? He won't tell us anything. No. <laughs> he Break is, down for Geraldo. Yeah, for Geraldo. Break down here. For Christ's sake. Where is he now? <laughs> Who knows? Pat it with him. That's it. You know, you can't trust these mob guys. <laughs> and the girl is a heroine? That's what Gary was saying. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that, she was on heroin or Henry was. I in the paper. Maybe Henry was on heroin, not her. I don't know what the whole story was. Or somebody was on heroin or some kind of drug. I, don't, I only know he said he was uh, addicted to drugs and alcohol, you know, and he couldn't beat it. Oh. He's been in rehab a number of times. Okay, so maybe it wasn't the girl, but it was him. Okay, yeah, because great. that's all I read. Yeah. Oof. Thanks a lot, Henry Hill. Yeah. Here's a, another bulletin for you. I just happened to pick this up in the newspaper. This is from the Daily News. We had Henry Hill in here the other day. You know about this? We had Henry Hill, the mobster who Goodfellas is based on. He was in here. We flew him in. We did the whole thing. We did it right. And now, where is Henry? Where do you think he is? Is he still in New York? No, he's in New Jersey. Well, what would he be doing there? He's in jail. Why? <laughs> Henry's in jail. Yeah, Henry's in jail. Finally, he's going to pay for all of his crimes. Uh, here, here, here's what happened. Here's what happened. It's a, it's a simple story. This is unbelievable. Do we have to bail him out now? Are we responsible because he's here? Uh, no. Here's what happened. Uh, Henry came to, I guess, last, uh, like in 1994, he assaulted somebody uh -huh. while he was under the witness protection program. Okay. Okay? Are you telling me he, he got in, had an outstanding warrant? Well, he as part of the uh, deal. After he got arrested for that, every month he had to come in for a urine test. Uh huh. Okay, because evidently he must have been jacked up on something. <laughs> so every month, as part of his probation, he has to go get a urine test. This has nothing to do with the good fellas and him squealing on the mom. Even where he is right now, every month. That's right. This is in California. He has to be in California every month to take his urine test. Okay. He evidently missed one of his urine tests. And when he came here to New York, I guess he was over by the Newark airport waiting to go back to California. And the Newark police saw that he had an outstanding warrant and they put him in jail. Wow. All right? He's in the lockup. He's being held in the Essex County lockup. <laughs> He's eating uh, basic prison grub. The, uh, the New Jersey Police Department points out he is not in there with the other mob guys having steak and lobsters like in the movie <laughs> Goodfellas. The menu is turkey roll, mashed potatoes, carrots, juice, and fruit. Huga. Turkey roll. They've got him in special lockup because uh, he was afraid. Meanwhile, the detectives went to his hotel. He was staying at the Marriott Hotel in Newark, you know, right at Newark Airport. You know where that is. Sure. And uh, he was in under the alias Martin Lewis. That was his name. The detectives went up to the room. They said they needed to check the fire alarm. They saw Henry Hill in there. They saw his girlfriend drunk. They saw him and his girlfriend drunk on vodka and Southern Comfort. Oh, God. Hill, thinking he was about to get whacked, jumped up on the bed, and the cops had to calm him down and say, no, we're cops. They had to prove to him they were, <laughs> we're cops. Not, we're not whackers. Yeah, he didn't mind that they were cops. He was afraid. You know, There could have been a whole... I don't know if Henry ever even carries a gun or anything. I mean, he could have ended up shooting cops. He does not carry a gun, I'm sure. Who knows? I don't know what Henry does. What? So, yesterday... Uh, Henry's girlfriend calls here and then gets a hold of Ganji. Yeah. She's looking for Henry. She wants to know what jail is, and we don't even know he's in jail. Oh, he's in jail. She wants to know what jail is, and so she can give him his plane ticket so she can get out of here. Oh, never mind that. They say Henry Hill was so bombed when the cops came in, he couldn't stand up. <laughs> Why'd he jump up on the bed? They say, quote, he looked like hell, and we can attest to that. He does. You'll see him on the E show. Yeah, he looked like hell before the cops <laughs> Yeah, <called. laughs> trust us. 
In fact, the whole time we were interviewing him, he was drinking a, a bottle of what? Vodka? Johnny Walker Red. Oh, Johnny Walker Red. Okay. With Coke. With a little Coke. Yeah. With a little Coke. Very little Coke. It was more the color of Johnny Walker Red than it was the color of Coke. Uh, exactly. I thought it was fruit punch. In fact, first. you know, you could call the Coke a lacing. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Angie? Well, you know, I, I was calling around yesterday to try to find out about this story. Yeah. So I called his lawyer. Yeah. And his lawyer wasn't, he said, well, I'm not blaming you guys. Yeah. But he said, if you probably didn't come in to do your show, this would have never happened. Yeah, well, I mean, who knew he'd jump bad? I mean, not jump right. bad, but he didn't you show know, up for his urine test. That's not our fault. Right. He wanted to do the show. Yeah, I'm not taking blame for that. Hill was positively identified. Henry doesn't look like Henry anymore, so the only way they could identify him... Wasn't dental records. <laughs> no, it wasn't dental records. They He has a paratrooper tattoo on his forearm, uh -huh. and the girlfriend's name is etched on his shoulder. The girlfriend was charged with nothing. She wasn't uh, doing anything wrong. It's not illegal for her to be drunk. Yeah, uh, yeah. and they even say he was in town because he had taped the uh, Howard Stern radio program and uh, television show. <laughs> Howard, yeah. this is a quart of vodka. It was, uh, I mean, a quart of scotch. Yeah. It was brand new when Henry got here. Wow. I cracked it. And it was Man, we only had him in here for 45 minutes. Uh, and he drank that whole thing. Right. So anyway, Henry is in jail. If, if somehow Henry can get in touch with us, we'd like to hear what happened. Evidently, he uh, he's he's fallen on some uh, some hard times. Here. You know, every time he comes back east, the things east go bad for the him. east is not a lucky place for him. I'm telling you. <laughs> Howard, should we be like the Montel Williams show? And if Henry gets in touch with us, we would like to send him to a rehabilitation program. No, we're not going to be anything like the Montel Williams show. We can't we stand Montel aftercare. Williams. <laughs> yeah, no aftercare, no phony baloney stuff. <laughs> yeah, good luck. And how is he going to take a drug test? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's up. It's unbelievable. And uh, we're following every story we possibly can follow. Okay. Hey, you know, speaking of the mob, I'm reading in the paper this morning. I thought we were speaking about it, but I see Henry Hill is on the phone. He just got out of jail. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, they say that they're going to arrest the uh, Godfather's son. Yeah. <laughs> what's the Godfather's name again? John Gotti. John Gotti, his son, John Gotti Jr. That's what they're saying in the paper today. They've been saying that for a while. That they've been, you know... This is so gay. Investigative uh, information on him. Henry. Good morning, good morning. All right, so Henry Hill is the guy, if you've seen the movie Goodfellas, and who hasn't, because it's a brilliant movie. It's based on Henry's warped life. I don't see how. <laughs> yeah. You know, the next, the sequel to Goodfellas would be a comedy. <laughs> yeah. A mess. Yeah, if they ever make another, like, a follow-up movie, <laughs> it'll just be one big joke. <laughs> Henry in that ridiculous beard and glasses he wore to right. disguise yeah, himself. All the disguises. Henry all high and depressed <laughs> and weepy. And... Losing his child to a black family. <laughs> Happy belated birthday. Thank you, Henry. Happy Where Now, what happened? You were in jail? That's why we haven't heard from you? Yeah, I was in prison, yeah. No kidding. What happened? How long? Well, when I left the show, uh, <clears throat> that day I did the show. Yeah, Henry came down here and visited us. Yeah. And then we heard you got taken into custody in Jersey? Yeah. Why? At the airport. Uh, they don't? I, I missed two planes. And, uh... I didn't know they could lock you up for missing your plane. Yeah, oh, I no, missed no. planes. I never locked <laughs> you up. You should be locked up for that. <laughs> you know, those airlines have reserved a seat for you. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I have broken the law. Well, I, you know, Henry's such a criminal that, like, you, know, you can't ask him a straight question. Go, Henry, why did you get thrown in jail? I well, missed I missed two planes. <laughs> but, you know, come on, I man. Had a, I had a warrant for, for, uh, ah. uh, for jump and parole. Ah. Jump and parole? Because he wasn't supposed to leave. California, wherever he always called up. Is that right? And he came out here to visit us, and he forgot to tell his parole officer. Right? And that's why they arrested you? Well, that was one reason. One. <laughs> then what else? Many. Well, be, be, <laughs> being intoxicated on uh, on, on your show. Right. Oh, He's you not... can't be intoxicated on this show? No, I'm not allowed to drink. He's not allowed to use any substance. Of my parole. Hey, you saw good fellas. He was all coked up. And... So he can't drink even. Well, you know, if you're uh, Henry Hill, you should be allowed to drink. But look at how much freedom Henry has lost. I know. He can't even get drunk. He might as well be in prison. Hey, eight months they had me in there. What a horror that was. Wh what prison were you in? Uh, well, I was in Chino for uh, for a while. And Where's that? What? For forgive me for not knowing yeah, where prison is. Yeah, we don't know are. this uh, whole community. For not knowing the penal system. <laughs> but where is Chino? Uh, it it's in Southern California. Then I was in the Folsom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did you get your ass kicked? No, not at all. Not at all. Well, they had me in... They had me in PC for a while, and then... Uh, Whatever that is. Protective custody. Oh. You know, and then I got to uh, <clears throat> to go out in the population after a few months. Yeah, and, and are mob guys in there who want to kill you and stuff? Uh, not really. No, they, they... You know, they got all these uh, new... It's a whole new a whole new game in here. These prison gangs, uh, they got these, uh, you know, these uh, Nazi low-riders. Uh, 
You know what? So did you hook up with any gangs when you were in there? Oh, I stay far away from that. That nonsense. Yeah, nobody tried to rape you? No, no, no. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, <laughs> and Henry isn't the looker he used to be. Yeah, Henry, Henry ain't looking like Ray Liotta. <laughs> no. Yeah. So guys leave you alone and stuff? They didn't shake you down? No, they, they, they attempted to. You know, these uh, they got these little punks, you know, uh, running around trying to... Uh, White guys, black guys? Well, they got, you know, they got all different... Uh, different colored got, punks. What? White punks, black punks, all kind of punks. Yeah, yeah. And what do they do? How do they try to shake you down? You know they try to tax you. You know they uh, when you go to the commissary and stuff. But it's a it, it's a real horror in there. I mean, jail isn't bad enough. The other prisoners got stuff like. Well, that's what jail should be. Yeah. You shouldn't want to go to jail. No, <laughs> it's a terrible life. I bet you it never jump bail again. Bad. I bet you never uh, go out of state again without telling your parole officer. I bet I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you never been in jail before. Oh, you were in jail. You yeah, yeah, you did time. Yeah, you did time. Good fellas, you did time. But you did nice time because you were, a me you know, you were a mob member, and they would get you like bread and nice pizza. Yeah, they had nice pizza parties and and spaghetti cooks. Yeah, the Don would uh, throw a big party every night. <laughs> I love how these mafia guys always are such great cooks. Yeah, yeah they're always cooking sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Same movie, every movie, you're cooking sauce, <clears throat> eating, you know, sauces. They're yeah. cooking. That's the. Uh, <clears throat> I worked on a. I'm doing a cookbook. Uh, the cookbook. <laughs> The cookbook, eating on a run. Good fellas eating cookbook. Eating on the run. Fifty <laughs> simple to sell you uh, recipes. Right. All right. So, so now you're back in. Uh, you're out of uh, jail. Yeah. You're back uh, on parole. Mm -hmm. right. You sound like you're not drinking. Well, that's not good. Not drinking. Right. I don't know why he's. My parole officer tells me. I don't even know why he's on parole because, quite frankly, he he went uh, state's witness and he you know he he was well, in the I witness protection program. Did didn't you, is this from something you did after witness protection? Yeah, for, for DUIs. Uh huh. Driving under the influence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's got all the lingo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you should be the host of America's Most Wanted. That'd be a good <laughs> job for you. To be honest with you. Yeah, that way we'd know where you were. Yeah, and what happened? The wife left you? No, no, she's uh, she's doing okay. Yeah. You still got the girlfriend, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you guys still on heroin and stuff? No, no. Yeah, all cleaned Clean up. Whistle. Yeah. Or two? She cleaned up too. Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. well, it must be boring over in that house. No, I'll tell you. No, well, she's uh, she had it. Uh, <coughs> she's in prison also. Oh God, she <laughs> got locked up too. What'd she go to prison for? Well, because she left. Uh, she left a, uh, a drug and alcohol program that she was supposed to do for a year. <laughs> Why did she have to? Was she driving under the influence as well? Yeah, she had oh. a driving under the influence of possession. <laughs> possession. <laughs> Ah, what a relationship. What a life. What a, what a life. life. So she's still in. <laughs> yeah, she gets on in a few months. Yeah, he sounds good, Henry, though. He sounds coherent. Yeah, but the two of them should stay away from each other. They're not good for each well, other. Well, who else they got? <laughs> and you know, she ain't bad looking. That broad you would. Yeah, Kelly, she's okay. Yeah, she's and all she right. And kind of, she gets fascinated by Henry's life. You know, yeah. I think, you know, you can see her getting turned on when Henry tells us about, you know, his the mob. escapades. Yeah, well, she hates Henry and loves him. Yeah. She really gets turned on uh, by all that violence. Yeah. She goes, oh, this is terrible. Meanwhile, she's getting all hot. Yeah. Squirming around in her chair. <laughs> what do you do? You tell her about killing guys for like about 10, no. 15 minutes? That's foreplay? Howard, I never kill them, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I never kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to know he killed them. <laughs> <laughs> he knows there's no statute of limitations on murder. <laughs> so he's not confessing to anything. Mm. Henry put an ice pick in the back of a guy's head. Right, my man? No. Nah, I was you, there. You were there, though, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, and the ice pick was there. <laughs> the ice pick was there. Henry was there. But... It was like a load off my mind. Poor bastard. I never knew how close he'd come to getting killed. Even if I told him, he would have never believed me. Jimmy, can I talk to you now? Oh, you know, you're a pisser. Yeah. You're a real pisser. Yeah. You want to talk now? Please. Okay, let's talk. Let's get it over. Oh, I swear to God, I don't want to fall busting like you my whole life. <laughs> hey, who loves you more than I do, huh? I'll do anything for you. Yeah, he's got to stop busting my balls. <laughs> Come on, let's go up, go on. Oh, you want to go to Dino or what? Well, we'll go to Dino over there, the Boulevard. Oh, good. Let's switch Dino. Oh, back with Boulevard. Oh, they got yeah. Danish there? Yeah, they got everything. We're good. Yeah, let's pick up some Danish for Bell. Take a couple of bucks. Oh, Did you hear about the points we were shaving in Boston? No, it is. Oh, it's terrific, yeah. Nunzio up in the... Oh, you never shut the fuck up. Oh, I'm a pain in the ass. What are you going to do? Chop them up and get rid of the cops. Call me when you're through. I 
Frank, let's chop him up. All right. Where are you going? Where are you going, you what? dizzy motherfucker? You. I thought you said chop him up. Oh, but Charlie's not here. Where Charlie. Where are you going to chop him here? Come on, what are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. I'm up there. I got a better shot letting him fucking drive. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting. The car's cold. The Teoriallo. Get the fuck out of here. What fucking warming up? Get out of here. All right, boy. Hell, Carl. Come on, Elton. 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 All right, talk to you soon. All right, Henry Hill. Hank Hill, everybody, uh, formerly of the mob. Now he's uh, going solo. Uh, he's got a solo album going out. <laughs> All right, Henry. That's Hank Hill. Anybody call you Hank? No. Uh, I do. Yeah, you got a nice pick in the back of your head. <laughs> yeah, all right, forget it. Henry. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Hey, Howard, fine. I'll, I'll put me on hold. I want to speak to John. Okay. The party never stops. <laughs> Henry's got that girlfriend and us. That's girlfriend and us. God bless everybody. Henry Hill is on our phone. Oh, my. I'll get back to that party in a minute. I'll say who was there, but let him accept you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he would. Yeah, you got to hear this. Jake. Henry Hill is the guy who um, the movie Goodfellows was based on. And he, of course, was in the mafia and all that stuff. Well, he's tried to be. Yeah, he's a mafia wannabe. But he, like, was a guy who, like, you know, killed a bunch of people and stuff. But he says he didn't kill anyone. Yeah, he just happened to be there when everybody died. Listen to it. Now he's pitching a cookbook. Oh. Yeah, I got a copy of it. I got a copy of his proposal. Henry. Henry. Yo, yo, yo. Here we go again. No phones? Oh, hello. <clears throat> Henry. Henry. Oh, there's his woman. <laughs> She's still with him. Yeah. yeah man. Henry. Yeah. Hey, man. Well, you called me, man. Yeah. <laughs> what? Henry. Yeah. You called me. Howard. Yeah. Is this Howard? Yes, it is. Hi, Robin. No, Hi. You're Robin. I'm Howard. <laughs> I answer the question, yes, this is Howard. <laughs> what, you have vodka for breakfast, Henry? Yes, I am. Stolies. Stolies? I thought after your last arrest you weren't going to drink anymore. Huh? I thought after your last arrest you weren't going to drink anymore. I'm not drinking. You just said you had Stolies. Stolies what? Stolies vodka. It was better than absolute. <laughs> uh, here you go. Is then it's coffee? Mm -hmm. Hey, how you guys doing? Are you guys off heroin? Yeah, we're, we're, no, no, no. <laughs> You're not? I wish I was back on. Oh. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hey, hey Howard, Howard. I got a live one for you. I got, I got a U.S. I'm sitting with a U.S. attorney. <laughs> Why? Attorney in charge of Los Angeles. You're with the U.S. attorney right now? No. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's what he just said. He said he's sitting with the U.S. attorney. At this time of the morning? What are you guys doing? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> He's back. It's good fellas all over again. <laughs> For those of you who thought that uh, Ray Liotta was a good actor, it was nothing. He just mimicked Henry. Uh, Henry. What? All right. So is now. There a U.S. attorney there. Henry, is your U.S. attorney there? Yes, he is. Why is he there? I, I could. Why? Yeah. I'm at his girlfriend's house. Oh. And who, who's this woman on the phone? <laughs> this is his girlfriend on the phone. Oh. Hi, Who's girlfriend? The U.S. attorney's girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi. How are you? Pretty good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hear. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Wait, wait, wait. He's got a spin, he's got a spin on, the, on, 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 on the Monica. Okay. Well, what's the deal? What's the deal? Hold on, hold on, hold on. He he he, he says he will not get on the phone. Let him get on the phone. What? Let me speak to that guy. Uh, Jim. <laughs> come here, Jim. The hell is going I don't on? Know. No, Jim, come here. What? Don't use the F word. F? Yeah, don't use the F word, the curse. See, what? what? Wait, please. Yeah, oh, he doesn't really? even know when he uses it. So the last time Henry came in on the show, he got arrested by the cops because he was... How, how are you as attorneys? Yeah, he was arrested by the cops here in Jersey because Henry was supposed to be back on probation and he was just supposed to leave the state wherever he is now. So now Henry's in all kind of trouble. No, I'm not. And now he's back to drinking. No, I'm not. 
I thought he had cleaned up his act. I am. <laughs> you don't sound it. <laughs> All right, Henry, what is this cookbook you're pitching? It says, I'm reading the pitch here, and it says that cooking was as important to the mob as scoring or burning a cop. When was the last time you saw a thin mobster presiding over a sit-down? And when was the last time you saw a, a bare table with the mafia? You know, they're always eating pasta and yeah. stuff. And um, dicing and slicing veggies was just as important as chopping and whacking members of other crews. Oh, my God. That's what it says here. <laughs> this is the wackiest proposal I've ever heard for a cookbook. Henry has, um, over 45 years of cooking, gotten recipes from his mother, his aunts, his godfathers, all the five New York families. Some of them had to be tested on unsuspecting good fellows to make sure they were not intended specifically for poisoning. Now, let me do. Yeah. Does he have some uh, recipe names there? Uh, no. Not that I see, but this is a very long book proposal. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of recipes could we look forward to? What? We have 102 recipes. Give me some of them. Name them. Uh, the, the last 102 guys that got whacked. No, 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 no. <laughs> See how good for us eating on a one. I've been one. I've been one all my life. Right. This is a, a cookbook for other criminals, then. No, no. So Henry, um, where is your girlfriend? My girlfriend's in the joint. She's in the prison. She's still yeah, like that. She's in Chachilla. Yeah. Why is she in prison? Huh? Why is she? She didn't. She, she, she didn't complete a, a, a drug program. Oh, so she's back in prison, and now you are free. <laughs> oh. So you got her in trouble with the law. Hold on, hold on. Right. Jim, we're keeping him that way, Howard. Right. Now, why is he with you, ma'am? Well, well, <laughs> I wrote a book. It's like uh, the Goodfellas, but the woman version. My name is Georgia Durandi. My boyfriend is... That? <laughs> Who is your boyfriend? He is. He was the prosecutor that probably worked on putting Henry and his friends away. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, so what? So, so what why is Henry mean? with you guys? <laughs> what is this woman's name it's again? Just a bizarre. Georgia Durandy or something. I think I just saw her on TV. Oh you yeah. Did. I was on Geraldo. What were you doing on there? <laughs> what, what is so funny? On your show. What? What am I doing on your show? I mean, but what is so funny every minute? I'm asking you questions and you're laughing. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny to ask you what you're doing on the Geraldo show. What was I doing on the Geraldo show? I was on there with Susan Forward promoting her book. I see. Oh, well, I'm confused. Why are you with Henry Hill? Henry, answer that. She, she she's my uh, my confidant. Well, I don't, uh, you, 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 see, I don't drive. I'm getting drunk hold listening on, to on. him. What? I'm not, I'm not getting drunk. Hold on. Jim does. Jim keeps running t from one end of the <laughs> mansion to the other. <laughs> Jim Henderson. Uh, Are all of you nude? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that you'll be getting it on with each other? No. Howard, no. we're just trying to keep Henry out of trouble. That's Is this Georgia broad hot? Is she good looking? Oh, she God. apparently was like yes, a mob she, she girlfriend. Oh. Hey, Howard, she was Miss Kodak. Georgia, were you a mob girlfriend? Uh, wife. You were a mob wife? Yeah. Who are you married to? Joe Lemondola. Yeah, and where's he now? Uh, about six feet under. Henry, did you put him there? <laughs> <laughs> Henry, did you kill him? No, I didn't kill him. Henry, if you use the F word, I got to hang up on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you going to kill, Henry? No, I'm not going to kill anyone. I'm going. I'm going to kill a. Uh, 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 who am I going to kill? Who am I going to kill? You're not going to kill anyone, Henry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Prosecutor over here. How could I kill anyone? <laughs> Hold on. He he was he's got a spin on on uh, 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 on the special prosecutors. He 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 doesn't he doesn't like Star. This guy was the boss out here in Los Angeles. All he right. put get, he 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 put Frantiano, uh All right. Let me speak to him. Hold on. Maybe yeah. he'll make some sense. Can I? No. no. Now, Jim, he, he's trying to listen to the show. He's, 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 he's climbing to one of the towers. This, this is a mansion he's living in. And he got me in this house. 
And I, you know, I, I think I'm being kidnapped. I think I'm being kidnapped by the government. I don't understand why the prosecutor has Henry Hill at his house. Or is going it's with a or is going with an ex mob wife of the mob. It's George's yeah. house. It's George's house. Now the prosecutor is dating you, Georgia. Yeah, and he's here because Henry's here. And why is why are they together? Why are they together? Yeah, I mean, what is going on? Are you guys planning something? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I, I don't understand any of this. Well, see, Henry came over for dinner. Right. And uh, and why do you do you like knowing mob guys? Is that your thing? No. Well, uh, what is it? I mean, you were married to a mob guy. You hang around with Henry. Your your, your boyfriend is the prosecutor. Puts mob guys away. Well, you I seem... can only hang around with mob guys now because I am with the prosecutor. I it's safer that way. All right. I, I, you know what? I'm oh, confused. Was, uh, yeah. Let, let me jump in here. Hold on. She 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 uh, she used to be uh, the Kodak girl. Oh, that cleared it all up. <laughs> I like how Henry goes. Let me jump in here. I'll clear things up. Let me jump in here. I've been part of Ever cleared anything up in his entire life? Henry, I bet you're attracted to her, aren't you? To me? Yeah. No, Kelly will kill me. No, tell the truth. You're attracted to her and you want her. <laughs> yeah, he does. He can't say He'll it. He'll work his way in. Can you imagine? Yeah, I can imagine. What this guy would do to me? <laughs> he sent his forces out. All right, listen, you guys. Wait, 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 wait. I got to go. Howard, wait, wait, one minute, please. All right, one minute and I got to go, Henry. All right, Howard, I, gotta, I, I just got to... Uh, what? Why do they compare you with Socrates? What? Why do they compare me with Socrates? Yeah. I don't know why. Seriously, seriously. 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 Who compares me to Socrates? What, the press? Hey, Henry, you want to go up at the uh, Blockbuster Awards and accept my award for me? Uh, do I? Do you want me to? I'm thinking about it, yeah. Now I'm listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> you got all wacky, yeah. If he, was on, if he was on Stoli, I would definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's three. It's, it's three o'clock in the morning here. I know. I have no idea what you guys are doing, and, and God bless you. I hope you're having a lot of fun. They Hen sound like they are. Henry Hill, of course, uh, the, the movie Goodfellas was based on him. Now he's trying to peddle a, a cookbook. 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 Oh, okay. and, and, uh, and what's her name? Georgia what? Duvandi? Georgia Durante. George, Georgia Durante. She's related to Jimmy Durante. Is she? Yeah. No. Are you really related to Jimmy Durante? Yeah. No. No, okay. And uh, Henry's just a liar. I, uh, well, you seem surprised. And, uh, Howard, yeah. Listen to me, please. Come on. I mean, uh, Jody Hotchkiss in New York with uh, you know, selling the uh, uh, list, uh, uh, my agent. Yes. We got the recipes. We, you know, we're doing the recipes. All right. Great cookbook. All right. We hope that somebody buys your cookbook. The, uh, look at Henry. Does he look like he eats well? Henry looks like he's falling apart. <laughs> Henry looks like he hasn't had a good meal in years. Really? What? You haven't seen me lately. Are you bulking up? Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Leonardo. <laughs> no, no, no. You look like Leonardo DiCaprio now. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you, you guys. Go back to having fun. There he is, Henry Hill. He's over at the special prosecutor's house. Another chapter. <laughs> in the life of Henry Hill. <laughs> that laugh is so haunting. Uh. Oh, no. That's the laugh you hear right before you get ripped off. That's right. Before an ice pick goes into yeah, before your head. an ice pick goes into the back of your head, you hear that laugh. <laughs>
Because they, they got to hold back. They're doing an investigation. Get out of here. Stop. It was, it was, he was whack. How's that one fun? They thought, what's that? Nothing. <laughs> Who killed him? No, he's a lot. He called here yesterday, just out of coincidence. You're sure? You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll wait for a couple of days and see if any news about Henry Hill. <laughs> Rock Radio. K Rock. You're listening to the Howard Stern. To the Howard. To the Howard Stern Show. Hey now. By the way, Robin, uh, a gentleman called in a few minutes ago, and I used the word gentleman loosely. Hey now. He said that he had information that Henry Hill was now killed and dead. Killed in bed. <laughs> he's, he was killed on Monday. So killed, he's dead. He's so killed, he's dead. <laughs> but on our phone right now is uh, the everlasting Henry Hill. Oh. Henry. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Howard. I yeah. told you it was one of his friends trying to get Henry uh, here. He said, he said, I, I, Henry, you are alive. The mob has not eliminated you, have they? Not at all. Right, you know, a Teflon mobster. Henry, Henry was a guy they based the movie Goodfellas on, one of the greatest movies, in my estimation, that was ever made. And Henry's story was fascinating. Of course, the mob does want to kill Henry because he's a, uh, what do you call it, a stoolie. Right. Yeah. All right. But he has defied the mob and lived. How many years have you lived outside of the mob now? Uh, 20 years now. 20 years. I think you got away with it. I got an anniversary coming up. Right. And now you're sober. Absolutely. Gary says you. that happen? Gary says you're boring now that you're sober. No, I'm not boring. How did you come to be sober? Why bother? Why bother? Because, uh... Every time I get drunk, I wind up, uh, I get this, and this weird problem happens. I go to prison. <laughs> what do you think, what do you think of the TV show, The Sopranos? You like it? I think it's excellent. Me too. Unbelievable. Yeah, very good. Great job. Are you getting laid, or that woman finally left you? No, I'm, uh, she's, uh, she's not around, but I'm, I'm, I'm handling it. You are getting laid. Yeah. Oh, you're handling it. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you are right. You're sober. The mob hasn't killed you. And you're getting laid. Yeah, every, every, everything is peachy. Everything right. is peachy. Did you get the kids back, or are they still being raised by a black family? No, my son is uh, my son is doing fine. He's with you? No, no. He's well, gone. That's why he's doing fine. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's doing fine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I love you, Henry, but you know, father. <laughs> is he a uh, is he a rapper? Your son? Uh, no, he's a uh, beach boy. He is. Yeah. But he is with the black family. No, he's not. He's raised, being raised by a white family? Uh, by my family, somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they didn't do such a good job with you. Why are they raising him? <laughs> I don't think that was their fault. I think Henry no, was it, bad it, it, it wasn't their fault. It was my fault when I was a little... No, well, somebody told me that wolves were raising him. <laughs> <laughs> now, for a while, he did live with a black family. I know that was very yeah, freaky for him. Very nice family. Very nice family. Very wonderful. Mm. Took a wonderful care of him. Right. Does, he, does he know how to speak jive talk? What do you call it? Uh, Ebonics? Yes. Did you ever say, hey, yo, 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 what's up, Dad? He called us a little earlier. <laughs> Do you at least get to speak? Well around it. Huh? Do you at least get to speak to your son every once in a while? Sure, that's, that's just fucking good. Thing. You did, okay. All right, so things that are good. I uh, kind of, you know, I, uh, you know, you know, eking out a living. Right, that, that can't What do you be... have to do to get make a living? See, Henry loves activity and action. He used to love to gamble. You remember the last time he was here, he yeah. had such a party, he did wind up in jail. Yeah. He loves, he lo he, listen, he was a gangster. He loved going into clubs. You remember in Goodfellas? He hated yeah. working. They gave you the front table. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have that. No. You missed that? I'm just a schnook. Right. You missed that? Uh, you, you know, I, I, you know it, it was a wonderful uh, time of my life. You were a Superman. You were Superman. You know, you know in retrospect, uh, I would never, never want to live that life again and never want to see anybody else go through it, but... You know, while I was doing it, it, it was intoxicating. It was, it was. You know, and... Uh, I bet you would go back to it. You love you? not knowing no, whether never, you were going to wake up every morning. If you had your life to do all over again, I think you'd do it just the same way. No, I wouldn't. No, I think I'd go to Yale and uh, become a dish jockey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <It's> <laughs> <laughs> all right, Henry. And where are you living now? Do you give out that information or are you keeping quiet about no, it? I'm keeping quiet about that. All right. All right, Henry, thanks. But I'm alive and well. Glad to all hear right. it. Okay. As Baba Bowie said to me, he said, you know, when they said Henry Hill was dead, I don't know why, but I was sad. <laughs> That's what he said. Well, thank you, Robert. Thank you, Henry. Bye-bye. That's Henry Hill, everyone. A, A lot. lot. And sober. Call us when you're drinking again. Oh, no. <laughs> he is so off the wall when he's drinking. Yeah, it was so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded almost rational there. Yeah, he sounded like a guy with some sense. Right.
Yeah, who needs that? I got a radio show. Remember when they found him in that hotel room in Jersey? He was naked? out of his mind, jumping, jumping up and down up and on down the down bed, the... naked. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> That's the Henry you love. Hey, look who's on the phone to wish me a happy birthday. Who is it? Henry Hill. Oh, we haven't heard. You know, I was thinking about him the other day. We haven't heard from Henry Hill in a long time. Hank? Hey, I'm alive and well. Happy birthday, Howard. You sound good. Henry Hill, of course, uh, has murdered people. Well, allegedly. No. You put ice picks in the back of people's heads. No, come on, Howard. What's it like to put an ice pick in the back of a guy's head? That was last year. Oh, that's right. No, he hasn't killed anyone in a really long time. new leaf. Well, in the movie Goodfellas, they never actually show Henry killing anyone. All right. But somehow... I never did. Didn't he wind up in jail? Yeah, well, for cocaine trafficking and stuff. Oh, just that. Yeah. That was my past life. He was a nice criminal. Yeah. He was one of the good criminals. Yeah, well, as you know, the story of Henry Hill is documented in the movie Goodfellas. And yes. Goodfellas, Henry, because he was Irish, was never a made member of the mafiosa. Oh. Which probably is a good thing because right. he didn't have to kill anybody. Right. And Henry Hill, of course, uh, was a criminal from the uh, young age of what? What age, Henry? About 13. 13. Yeah. Despite you, his... You watched other people kill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He didn't do it himself. Despite his parents' uh, protests, he became uh, a friend of theirs, shall we say. <laughs> friend of ours. And he became a beloved trustee in the Cosa Nostra. Hey, Howard, I had, I had a, uh, a state hey. grandson uh, last night at 2 a.m. This morning. An advisor to Capo de Tutti Capos. No, he was no advisor. <laughs> you, know, you know what else, uh, Howard? Of course, later on in life, Henry had his, uh, yeah. his problems with drinking and alcohol and stuff. But I saw Henry over the summer, and uh, he looks great. Does he really? Yeah, I mean, he gained some weight. N well, now that he, you know, he just stopped drinking, uh -huh. and he just looks good. Yeah. You know, when you talk to him, he understands you and can respond. Really? Well, the last time we saw him, remember, he looked like Callista Flockhart. <laughs> One of the times he was here after he left, he was supposed to go back to L.A., and then we found out he was in jail in Newark. Yeah. yeah. Remember, he trashed a hotel room, and they, uh, yeah. You know, he was all paranoid. He thought everybody was after him. Well, no offense, uh, I love you, but who needs a sober Henry Hill? What fun <laughs> is that? What do I need that on the air for? Uh, sober responsible Henry yeah. Hill. Henry, why not a sequel to Goodfellas? Uh, they've been talking about one. Uh, <laughs> Everybody's always talking about it. Who's been talking about it? Yeah. David uh, Permit? Uh, Nick Pelagi, uh, Scorsese. You know what, Henry, I, I always wonder, how do you make money? Like, how do you make a living? Well, I, 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 well, I, got, a, I got a cookbook coming out. I got oh, a, my God. Yeah, but how have you been making money <laughs> all these years? Cooking on the run. Yeah, it's Cooking on the Run is his book. Right. How to cook a meal in five minutes before the cops knock down your door. <laughs> the cops or, or, or the mob. Yeah. Now, for the last 20 years, I've been putting recipes and stuff together, and I got a, uh, uh, I finally got a publisher. And uh, But doesn't the government pay you, actually? No. That is... No, they, they haven't paid me since 83. So, they, they pay you only while you're uh, testifying. Only testifying. While you're so, Henry, what's the hustle? You know, I uh, I got a couple of things in development. I I, I, got yeah, but I mean, what's the hustle to keep your food on your table? I uh, are you I a make gigolo? A you what? make a living doing what? Are you on food stamps? No, no, no. Are you a gigolo lending your body to women for money? I wish. Yeah. Hey, how much, hey, Henry? How much did they pay you for Goodfellas? Yeah. Oh, I got I got about uh, I wound up with about four hundred fifty. Really? That's all. Four? What are you kidding? You didn't do anything. Four hundred fifty large. Yeah, that, really? that was back in the, you know back in the uh, the 80s. But you had to you had to have gone through that relatively quickly, right? Oh, yeah. a week. <laughs> yeah, you don't have any of that now. No. I'm sure you're in Vegas gambling <laughs> that away in two seconds. Yeah. Remember when Henry would go to like all the clubs, like the Copa and stuff, and he had to have the front seat. He'd grease everyone. Yeah. Two nights at the Copa, the guy's out 450 large. <laughs> <laughs> This is not a guy who planned for his retirement. No. Not, well, I'm working on it now. I got a lot of things going on. No, but really, like you, you know, it's been a while since that money's been gone, and and it's hard for you to have a steady job. So yeah. What are you doing to make money? I uh, I got a lot of I, I have a few things in development. I got a, I, I got a video game. A video game. <laughs> a Get video game. Coming a Henry out. Hill video game. And Henry Hill's Mob World. Really? Yeah. Well, listen. You know what? He must be saved. He he's. He still. socked away some of his mafia no. money. That's not what he's saying at all. What is he saying? I think he still has a few illegal activities. Uh, Absolutely not. In. I don't think so. Absolutely him, not. You know, some money. What, are you uh, doing a little coke? No, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm a law-abiding citizen today. Really? 
Yeah, I am. Someone tell me you're a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I'm, uh, I work part-time in recovery. In recovery? Yeah. What hey, Henry. That? Yeah. Can you get me ludes? <laughs> Henry, you help other addicts? Is that the deal? Yeah. Yeah, that's what all ex addicts do. They get jobs they get helping jobs other addicts. At the place well, that's, the addicts. Yeah. that's what I know about. And you know, Henry's real good at that. Yeah, that's what You know, I know he's real that. sensitive. Right, and he's fallen off the wagon enough to yeah. know. Listen, uh, what you got to do when you're sick from drugs is clean up and get away from all your old friends. Put an ice pick in their head and get them the hell out of your life. <laughs> Howard, uh, let me tell you something. If I can stay clean, anybody can stay clean. Right. I mean, well, we'll see. How long have you been clean? 18 months. 18 oh. months on the 28th. That's, that's nothing. I've been late for that's a week. And that's a minute. What? 18 months. That's a long time. You'll be I'm back on the sauce. You no, don't miss no it? Way. What's your longest stretch? This is it. Something will go wrong. You know. And where's your girlfriend? Uh, She's around. Is she? We just had a uh, we just had a, a, a little baby boy two o'clock this morning. No. You had a kid? No. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oy vey. <laughs> yeah, you're worried about Callista Flockhart being a fan. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How much lime have you got in the garage? Yeah, I got a couple of 50-pound bags. <laughs> I, I, I tell you, you know, I, went to, I did an appearance at Sit and Sleep in L.A., and Henry came down, so yeah. I was standing out in front of the store, and you're rapping to Henry, and then all of a sudden you start to think to yourself, should I be standing this close to Henry? You're always worried that someone's going to drive by. Because the mafia, the, the mafia never killed Henry for squealing. I think, I think everyone who wanted him dead must be gone. They must be dead now. I don't get how Henry's still alive. I outlived them all, Howard. You did. You son I of a bitch, you did. All. I survived. You're wild. Yeah. That's amazing. This character, man, he, you know, you, you laugh about him. Howard, but... when you come to town, I got something to pitch you. <clears throat> you know, the, the last 20 years, and, you know, handling Henry, you know, me, uh, me surviving. He may come by and visit us in L.A. Oh, okay. He's living in L.A. now? Yeah. Look at this guy. I mean, I, I guess so. Is that okay to say? <laughs> <laughs> Nebraska, Howard. He's bulletproof. <laughs> One day the mob's gonna catch him. Oh, but I mean, he can't, he'll be please. ninety years old. Please, Howard. How afraid could he be? He's putting out cookbooks. I don't know, but I don't believe the mob forgets. I, I have to believe that. You think these young guys care about Henry Hill? They got enough headaches themselves. Right. All right. Maybe you're right. The mob's not what it used to be. That's what they say. Hey, don't say that. <laughs> Don't you don't know that. that. <laughs> you don't know anything about it. I was always so cautious when he talks about the mob. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> has, has anybody ever contacted you? Yes. You yes, really? I have been contacted by the mob. Really? You want to know the truth, yes. They haven't made a rent job out of you? No, no. they offered me a favor. If you want to know the God... Look at him laughing. He's laughing at you. If you want to know the God's honest truth, yes. I met a made man, and he came to me years ago. And I think you know about this, Gary. Mm -hmm. Do you? I think I know what you're talking All about. All right. He came to me, I met him by chance, and he said, and I was waiting online somewhere, and he liked my manner, that I was not disrespectful to him, because he was allowed to go ahead in the line. Uh -huh. and you didn't I knew something was up, because this guy was short and fat <laughs> and had the hottest <laughs> chicks around him, and I just mind my own business. <laughs> You're a good guy. Yeah. And he turns around, and in front of his girls and everything, goes, Oh, Howard Stir, yeah, I know you. And I said, Thank you. You're a man of respect. You're a man who should not be disrespected. I could see that. And in front of his girls, that made him look good. So I went into an elevator. And in the elevator, the guy comes in after me. With the girls. You know about this, Gary? No, no. I Sounds like a movie to me. This is the <laughs> God's <laughs> honest truth. This is the God's honest truth. And he says to me, you know, I like you. And if there is ever a time that you should need a favor from us. Oh, get out of here. Shh. I'm telling you the truth. It was Marlon Brando. And in fact, someone even said to me, this guy, because afterwards, who is that guy? They said, mm -hmm. and they told me his position. Sure. He's a very powerful guy. Who around you would know that? Uh, I'll t I can't give those details on the air, but I'll tell you off the air. Sure. Okay. Well, you're so cautious, Howard, constantly when, it, when you talk about those people. Now, he said, do you need, he says, if there's anything you ever need, here's my number. And oh, I said, you got a number. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, shut up, Henry. I agree with you, Henry. That, 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 that already makes you a, a, an associate, Howard. The number was 516-9221. <laughs> no, seriously? That makes you an associate, a known associate. No. So I said to him, thank you. And uh, I walked out of the elevator, trembling, knowing that I had just encountered the mob, the mafiosa. Did you keep the number with the thought that you might no. use it one day? No. I, 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 I threw it away. <laughs> 
not to be tempted, because believe me, there's a lot of people I would like to get. <laughs> Every once in a while, you might go off the handle. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I know, having been with you for a long time, that now there's people you would use that number on if you could. <laughs> Don't think I threw away the number. Ay, ay, ay. But anyway, uh, bye bye. let me tell you something, my friend. So are you in? Am I in the Costa Nostra? Yeah. No. no. He's an associated member. <laughs> And no one associated. But if you think if you think things can't be done, they can be. The mob still exists, well, right, Henry? You have Absolutely. Your buddy yeah. Henry, what's Henry doing talking to you? I don't know, Henry. But isn't it true the mob still is around? Sure, sure it is. Of course. Well, they just busted that big ring for gambling for the Super Bowl out of Long Island. Yeah, no, that's every year. Every year. Yeah, what every was the, year. What was that family? Uh, uh, I can't remember which one it was, but it was uh, it was the Tugliabi family. <laughs> the Finelli family. Yeah. The Managots. The Managotis. <laughs> <laughs> was there a time, Henry, that you were scared when you were making Goodfellas? I mean, did, did you? Oh, did you sure. Yeah. Absolutely. You worried then about getting bumped off? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it was 20 years in May. Right. You know, 20 years ago. Isn't there a statute of limitation? I, yeah, of course. <laughs> what do you think he's doing to make money, though? Uh, you know, a little uh, gambling, a little prostitution. <laughs> really? You got whores? You don't have any whores. <laughs> I work hard. I work hard. Did you ever Howard, taking you, anything off the back of a truck lately? No, no. No, he's a he counsels drug addicts. <laughs> Howard, did you ever see that movie My Blue Heaven with Steve Martin? Yes. yes. That's also based on Henry, you know, because right. that was written by Nick Pelleggi's wife. Right. And that's all about how when you get into the witness protection program, you immediately start running numbers and right. doing all this illegal stuff. Right. Because right. it's so easy. They stick you in a place where it's so easy right. to take over. Send you to Arizona. Yeah. Yeah, where they know nothing about this, and so you become the copo right away. Well, look at Sammy the Bull. They put yeah. him in. Yeah. You know, they set him up with this uh, pool business where he would go and build people's pools. Yeah. But he found that the ecstasy business was right there for him. <laughs> Henry, Who wants to build pools? Henry, you're not in the ecstasy business? No way, Jose. Let me ask you a question, seriously. Yeah, go ahead. The drug that I used to do in college was called Quaaludes. You know what I'm talking about? Absolutely. I used to do four or five of them at a time. Me too. <laughs> And to this day, I'm I'm dr I'm drug free. But wh why is it that those are no longer available? Don't they make those in Europe? Yeah, they're still around. They are. So they, yeah, somas. I think they call them now. Actually. Somas. What? Yeah. Well, why can't? Why are they not uh, accessible to the masses? <laughs> what do I know? Uh, yeah, like he don't know. <laughs> well, he knows what they call them. He just doesn't know how to yeah, get them. Yeah, yeah. The, the drugs are. You got to ask the drugs are. Right. All right, Henry. Well, listen. I well, happy birthday, Howard. Thank you so much. When I get out to LA, I'd like to have a meeting with you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, perhaps. How old would a Henry Hill be at this point? Sixty-five. Really? No way. No way. Fifty-seven, Howard. Yeah. Uh, no way. It's pretty <laughs> close. I looked sixty-five. Last time yeah. I was. Dead. Last time I saw him, he looked like he was skeletal. Like oh, he was God. about to die. He uh, like I was I strung out like a dog. He looked like Nesferatu. <laughs> 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 I always felt bad for Henry because Henry would call us on a day like today and be yeah. like this, and then a week later he would call us out of his mind out of drunk. His mind, yeah. Yes. They'd call us a week later, no, I'm better. Now, I used to like when Henry was so cranked up on something, he'd call us and start screaming because black people had taken his son. <laughs> right. That was the best. Although, can I tell you my personal mm, favorite Henry yeah. Hill appearance? On the Channel 9 show where you, you practically made him cry. Yeah. Because yeah, we, we uh, had a, per a woman there who said that you know she was responsible for the death of her husband. Yeah. And Henry started crying and apologizing. Meanwhile, it was Al Rosenberg in a wig. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you got me good that time. I did. Yeah. Hey, Henry. <laughs> hey, Henry. Yeah. So explain to me something. Okay. All right. Because I love having you on. Your, your son was taken away from you, right? Yeah. All right. Then the blacks... Did they get to keep the son? No, no, no. no. For a mafia guy, for the blacks to take yeah, over the care of his son yeah. was uh, too much. Because you know how the, the mafia well, is. Well, that's a real blow. Yeah. I no, mean, no. I, well, listen, let me tell you something. They did a, there was a very nice family. And the only thing, you, you know, honestly, my son my son wanted a purple suit to go to church on something. And that freaked you out, I remember. No, I mean, that... that, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> his son, Henry's son was wearing a purple suit to go to church. <laughs> Now you put on his hair, purple suit. South Central. I mean, that was that, that was it. Yeah, that was killing you. Anyway, but he's doing great. Did all your mafia friends break your balls when they heard your son was uh, with the blacks? Yeah. I don't have no more friends. mafia friends. Mafia. Friends. <laughs> you know what, Howard? I love. There's Henry no mafia, Howard. Howard. Yeah. But one of your surprises is on the phone. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, Henry. I got to go. I look forward to seeing you. Happy birthday, good Thank guy. you, brother. Bye, Henry. You're Bye -bye. a good. You're a good fella. <laughs> Bye -bye. Oh, yeah. Henry Hill. Henry Hill uh, was in the mob.
They made a movie about it called well, Goodfellas. He was never in them. Yeah. Well, he's in it. He was, he was a wise guy. Yeah, he was a made man. He's not a made man because his father wasn't Italian. Irish. His father was Irish. That's right. So he couldn't be a made man. So you know what? He taught the mob a lesson. He, he became a rat, and he ratted them all out. He made them all go to jail. Henry? Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> we can't forget about it. We can't forget about you. You won't let us. Hey, I was, uh, yeah, yeah. You have me on a TV show. It's like, you didn't give up my website. How come they bleeped it? Oh. I think he was mad at me. What was he saying? He had a website, and we had him on the TV show last night, and I guess they bleeped it out or something. I don't know why they did that. Why'd they bleep out Henry's website? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. It's just like the Goodfellas laugh. I know. I'll give it out now. Goodfellahenry.com. Real yeah, fine. You can give out a website, sure. What do you do on that website? What happens when you go? I think he can download pictures of 14-year-old boys naked. <laughs> Henry always has an angle on something. I get like, the weather report. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Henry. Yeah. Did uh, what did you think of The Sopranos? Great. Yeah, I, I love that That's show. Yeah, it's, it's a great show. I love that show. I could watch it fifty times. At yeah, least. It's, it's 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 a great show, and it's going to get better and better. I mean, I just you can see the setups, it, it, but it's but it's going to be good. You know what I loved? I loved when uh, the teenage daughter brings home the the Moulinian, the Moulinian, the, 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 the black son, uh -huh. the black uh, the black he boyfriend. Was black. He was black and Jewish. Black and Jewish. <laughs> black and Jewish. And uh, uh, Henry, David Chase, God bless you. Henry, who is your who is your boss when you were in the mob? I mean, who is the top guy? Paul Vario. Paul Vario. If Paul Vario, did Paul Vario have a daughter? No. Yeah. Uh, who's the next guy? Uh, like who are some of the names of the guys who you know were your guys? Well, Jimmy Burke got a couple of daughters. He did. If she if she brought home Moulin Young, <laughs> what did they how in many, the trunk of the car? Right. Oh. How many names did uh, Tony call that guy? He had fifty names for black guys. Yeah, Henry, you must know those. So he called him a Moulin a Moulin Young. A what? What was the first one? Tsun. Tsun. What's that? It's a Tsun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how translation. It's a black guy. <laughs> A, a moulinian means uh, eggplant. eggplant. Yeah, eggplant. Because he's as dark as an eggplant. It's a, it's a shame. <laughs> but to what a I've Shonda. Never heard before. What a Shonda. <laughs> Henry, uh, so if a guy is in the mob, you know, real Italian, not like you, yeah. and he brings home a moulinian, would they actually kill him? Oh. Forget about it. She'd be in Italy in a convent. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Because cause that's some of the biggest discretion. Well, that's the, the funniest thing is, you know, look what they do for a living, but you can't marry a black guy. Yeah, they're killing people. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, the best. I think he called him a charcoal briquette, too. Yeah, charcoal <laughs> briquette, Titsun, Moulinon. <laughs> You're a charcoal he ran, briquette. He ran a cool. the whole list. It was so funny. A gabagoo. <laughs> that's ham with the... With, with, with the pepper around it. Yeah, I know. And a gabagoo. <laughs> Go eat a gabagoo. <laughs> you do watch the shows and you want to be Italian, you know, when you watch the mob shows. It's so much fun. Gabagoo. I don't know if I want to eat anything called gabagoo. <laughs> <laughs> every every ethnic group has its disgusting food. Yeah. Gabagoo. It's ham. Right. It's good. It's good. And so when you watch this show, you feel it's realistic. It's very real. I mean, it's, you can't get better. Why The Sopranos is so brilliant, to sum it up in a quick sentence, is that um, it points out that even if you're in the mob, which is a disgusting kind of thing to be in, you still have a family, and you still have family life, and your kids can still kick the crap out of you, and your, and your wife and all that kind of stuff, that there's actually some normalcy in the midst of this stupid storm that they're in. And uh, that's what's so brilliant about it. Yeah, it used to be every mob show was about... Just, you know, yeah. doing crime and killing people. You never knew what the guys were like at home. Yeah, it's great. That's right. I thought one of the greatest moments of the show that sums that up was in the first season when uh, Tony, as a dad, has to take his daughter to go look for colleges. Yeah. Right. You know, and that's what, I mean, he's in the mob, but he's still going to take her to look for colleges. And while they're looking for colleges, so a guy, he forgot he had to kill. Right. <laughs> and he whacked the guy. <laughs> while he's looking for colleges. Yeah, it's just so perfect. <laughs> you know, you, you mix a little business with your family life. Exactly. That, 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 that life is 
it's an insane, it's an insane way to make a living. Hey Henry, did you ever go like? Distance. Did you ever go like on a vacation, like a genuine vacation, like you know, I'll take it two weeks off from the mob and go into Hawaii or something, and and see something you needed to take care of or like a person, or you get involved in or some, the, or you the get, trip winds up being work anyway. Yeah. <laughs> You don't take a vacation when you're in a mob. You work twenty four seven. Do you really? Yeah. No. So even no if you're vacation. in, even if you go to like Florida or something, you're going there because you're going to go meet with Hyman Roth. Right. Yeah. You don't go nowhere unless it's got business attached to it. Who's the greatest mobster of all time? Seriously. Uh. Frank Costello. Who? Frank Costello. Frank he had, Costello. He had all the. He had all the big politicians. You know, I mean, he was he was the man. He had it all going on. He had everyone answering. He had the judges, the politicians. He had, he, he had Tammany Hall in his pocket. Did he have the gabagoo? He had the gabagoo and the, and, and the uh, super sad and everything else. Yeah, and, and like and like he he could he almost was like kind of legitimate, even though he was like in crime, because he had all the politicians and everything. He almost had like respect. He he used to hold court in, in Saudis and in, in all those joints in the city. I mean. The, with the you know with the movie stars and the and the politicians, uh -huh. I mean that's when the mob you know. How'd he die? Because he died natural causes. Natural causes. I was going to say oh, that's a good one. mobster because he died in bed. Wow. <laughs> That's Very beautiful. few do. Yeah. Wow. My favorite guy is the guy who died in the barber chair. <laughs> Albert Einstein. Yeah. Who's it? How did he die? He was in the barber chair, and they set him up. So, you know, in the old days, in the 50s, you'd go to get a shave, and they put the hot rags on your oh, face? Yeah. Right. Well, they put the hot rags on his face, and then they killed him. They, they cut they his throat? They cut his throat? Yeah. I think they shot him. Not a shot him. Yeah. But he never knew it was coming. So when you were growing up, was it like Costello who you, like, would idolize? Like, was he the guy who had, you had his poster yeah. on the wall? When I was a kid, it was all the Murder Incorporated crew, you know. Uh, well, it was Lucky Luciano, where, you know, everybody used to talk about Charlie Lucky, you know. Yeah. And you he, never met him, though. And, like, yeah. where I used to listen to the radio and dream of being on the radio, you would dream of being, like, Lucky Luciano. Well, you know, I mean, I, I, I used to see, uh, you know, 50, 60 white guys a day. That's all, uh, you know, that's all I saw around. So it's all you, it's all you well, thought about. I mean, you know, they... They'd be with the Gumadas, and they, you know, and they'd take me on their boat with them, and uh, everything was a feast. Everything was girlfriends. Everything was. Uh, it was too much fun. Uh, well, it was. Hey, yeah, know, so it, much glamour. Yeah, I mean, you saw the the, the positive side of it. If, you, know. you know, I didn't. Uh, I just see my first guy get whacked until I was thirteen. Hey, there's somebody on the phone who said that you will swallow your tongue if he hears that, you, you know, that he's on the phone. I don't know this guy. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Eat, uh, eat some gabagola. <laughs> who is this? Howdy, Tester. Howdy, Tester. Yeah, I got you. Who's that guy that imitates everybody? <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming back from the grave to get you. Oh, oh Patty, I'm waiting for you. Hey, Henry, who is Patty Tester? He was a wise guy. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. I'm going to get you, huh? I'm going to get you there. You're going to get me. I'm, my old man was DB. Remember DB? Douchebag? No, <laughs> DB. Hey, Henry, who is uh, and who is Patty Tester to you? Nothing. Some, some wannabe. Oh. Yeah, wannabe my ass. You used to take orders from him all the time till you did what you did, you rat bastard. That's right. Did you, you take you orders? Nobody you... forgot, Henry. Don't worry. It's just a matter of time. Did you take oh. orders from Patty Tester? Who the hell knows Patty Tester? Yeah, I, I, I remember the name. Yeah. All right, thank but you, Patty. You're saying it's just a matter of time. How long has it been? <laughs> yeah, hey, Patty, what are you going to do? 21 years you haven't been able to get Henry. <laughs> we ain't been trying to tell you the truth. All right, there's Patty Testa. Thank you, Patty. Speaking from the grave. What is it, Benji? Hey, hey Henry. <coughs> Henry, I, I just, I got to tell you, I think that website is one of the most asinine things I've ever seen in my life. Why? What's on the website? It's, it's, it's how to, like, ways to torture people, ways to kill people. It'd be like if OJ made a site, like, how to kill your wife. <laughs> oh, really? Is, is that, that what's on right? it? Oh, maybe that's why they bleeped it out, Henry. No, no, go to the site. Go to the site? Yeah, go ahead. Good fellow, Henry. Good fellow, Henry? I'm sure it's all blocked up now. Because, I don't know, there are people who listen to this show and they're sitting right by their computers. <laughs> Howard, I get, I, I get about 100 emails a day from Poland, from New Zealand, from, from the UK, all over the country. But you what do they want? They're fan mail. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. There's people, there's a lot of cuckoo birds out there. Let's see. Henry, good fella, Henry. The only real hit on the web. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> and now I can't even get into it. What's happening? I don't know. It's all... Oh, awesome. there you go. Let's see. He's got a... Hit, hit you clean. All right. I'm in it. What? No. Can't get in. There you go. 
show. Wait a minute. What's that? Uh, yeah, I'm clean. All right. What's on this? Isn't this where you have the top ten ways to kill somebody? Yeah, that. Uh, it's, it's all a joke. It's, it's a, a joke. There's right? some good stuff. There's some good links. You There's know, some good information out there. It would be a joke if you hadn't actually killed someone. <laughs> I didn't kill nobody. Come on. Oh, you come on, him. Henry. You killed plenty of people. No, I didn't. What's that scene in the movie with you guys uh, got that guy in the trunk, you and Joe Pesci, and you're jamming a knife in his stomach? Not me. That was, uh, that was the other guy. But Henry, come on. <laughs> it's always the other guy. <laughs> his, pictures, his pictures of Henry when he was young. God. He looks like, you know who he looks like when he was young from the side? Like uh, Rick Moranis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Henry, well, uh, good luck with your website. i got to run. Okay, good. All right. Ciao. Yeah, it's no big deal. It's a joke. Henry, what a pisser. Like, he has to say he didn't kill anyone because otherwise he, then he could go to jail. It's the only guy who was in the mob for 25 years that didn't kill anyone. after well. all this time, I mean, didn't he get immunity? No, not for killing. Really? No. So he's still saying. Right. He's got to say he never killed anyone. He's just standing around while all these murders happen. Mm. Hey! I wonder if there's still a hit out on him. Please. He he gets on and tells you he doesn't have a fake identity anymore. Mm -hmm. He he'll practically tell you where he is. Henry Hill is you know, he gets all worked up about I know. <laughs> Henry well the guy was a man. I was the plan all of it. That's why I was Henry Hill so is well. yelling mad about something and was resisting and coming. Henry Hill of I course saw whatever thing. Henry Hill Beetlejuice, as you know, is the movie Good Goodfellas. He was the uh Henry the, Hill, yeah. The, the guy. That's right. I'm the man all to it. Henry Hi. Yeah, hey. Howard. Yeah. Howard. Yes. First of all, I was a I, I was a paratrooper. What? I was in the 82nd Airborne. Okay? I didn't know that. Oh, you know, oh, what do you mean? In the movie, you, in the movie... I never heard, saw you in military. Uh, no, I you know, you know, what I did it for. Oh, so God, he was in the Airborne. He knows what I did for. Oh. And he knows the best what I did for. Because I'm the chief. That's what he You was. were in with him, Ben. Uh, Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Henry. <laughs> go ahead, yes. And what is your problem? Tell him. Henry, what? please, please hurry. Goodbye. What's going on? He's sending a well. Henry, please, please. Bye. I know. I, re, you know, I respect the fact that you called in. I'm Henry, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, my big baby. You're not drinking. No, come on. Uh oh, oh, it does sound a little, uh, a little bit. Uh, Henry, what have you got? He's Henry, drinking. I'm drunk. Oh, Lord. Are you drunk? <laughs> Don't Who's use the F word. Who's your captain in there, boy? How, how, <laughs> first of all, my first major beat, okay? Hey, wait a minute, Beetlejuice asked some pertinent questions. Henry, you were doing so well. Did you start drinking again? Uh, how, 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 tell the truth. Come on, he's got the little laugh. That's the drunk laugh. Yeah. Henry, did how, you start how, it? How, how, hold on a second. Why did you fall off the wagon? You were doing so well. How? Tell me what happened. I got to go to my dentist in about two hours, okay? So, what did you tank up on before the dentist? What? What did you do before the dentist? What do you do? Uh, huh? Robin. Valium and tequila. Oh, I'm oh, asking. Oh, Robin and tequila. <laughs> hold, hold on a second. Uh, oh, I did. Oh, oh. <laughs> Henry, what happened? I we saw you. Oh, I, oh, saw, I, saw, oh, I saw you. Oh, first of all, first of all. <laughs> first of all. Henry. Oh. Henry, the F word. God, what? <laughs> is that, what does Imus have? A cab driver. This guy is, 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 I mean, this guy can't get ratings. I mean, what is this guy? I got so pissed off this morning. I wake up, right? Uh, First of all, my, my bitch wakes me up. Uh -huh. uh, uh -uh. That's why it's called. Well, Henry, 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 yeah. Henry, you were doing so well. What happened? Howard, Howard. Is your great. girlfriend drinking? Howard. Howard. Bitch woke him up. <laughs> <laughs> you drink too if your bitch woke you up. That was a problem. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, Henry. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Right. Right. What do you want to say about Imus? Go ahead. Oh, come on. This scumbag. I can say that, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's one of the approved words. It's the only one. Hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, scumbag, okay. <laughs> yeah, they just <laughs> rolled, they rolled on it last week. They cleared that You can't say scumbag in general, just referring to I'm. <laughs> What happened to Henry? He was doing I, so know, good. I gotta tell you, I know this is weird. Yeah. I'm really bummed out about this. Why? I it's mean, funny. Again. I know. I know Henry like you know killed people and stuff, or maybe he said he, he saw people killed. Right. You know, and I realized that he had that weird. But you know, he'd been straight for a year and a half. To... Henry. Hi, Henry. Henry, I gotta hang up on you if you're gonna use the F word. Henry, it's Gary. You know, what happened? Gonna waste this whole appearance. Gary, 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 knock it off, okay? Knock what off? Knock what off? But, Gary. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You you went to Chisano and he had a a hole. Okay. Oh, you know what happened? He used to book to Chisano, but he'd been calling around the office before he got to us. <laughs> yeah. So I get to Chisano and, and then he yelled at him and then he yelled at the intern. Yeah. How do we the intern? What do you say? The intern, you know, a female intern answered the phone and he goes, "Who is this bitch?" <laughs> you know, well, he was uh, uh, awakened out of a thousand. <laughs> Henry, you were you were straight for a year and a half. Tell us what put you back on the juice. Huh? What? Don't lie to us. What happened? Something with the kids? I, no, come on. Kids are too old. What happened, buddy? Give me the story. <laughs> I gotta know. Are people not going on the website? Is that where the problem is? Are people disrespecting you? <laughs> did, 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 did you hit the website with me? Henry. Henry, why'd you start drinking? Focus. Papa, focus. Hold on. Papa, focus. Papa, focus. Papa, yeah. focus. All right, Henry, we'll talk to you some other time. Tell no, no, no. Just tell us what you're drinking. No, no, no. I'm so, I'm so mad about... I'm so mad about the uh, Tony Soprano. I'm so mad about the. Uh, uh, can't handle the Soprano. <laughs> <laughs> can't handle it. Uh, can't. What happened with Tony Soprano? You know it's a made-up story, right? Is it really? Yeah, it's not a real guy. No. Okay, Henry, I got to move on. How? 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 Wait! 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 Wait a second. Go ahead. No, Henry, when you get like this, we can't hang up on you. Henry, what time did you start drinking? What are you drinking, Henry? What? That's the Henry Hill laugh that he gets. <laughs> yes, when he never, he never laugh like that when he's straight. I, I, I am so mad about, first of all, about, uh, first of all, uh, uh, I'm kidding. What are you drinking? No, 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 can't be, can't be. You know, you know can't be, it's my Henry's second brother. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm in the military together. I don't take it in a keister like he does. <laughs> I, 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 Henry, I, Henry, I gotta go. Uh, I know, I know, I know you don't understand, but you're not making sense. <laughs> hey, how, 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 can you can you keep drinking and call us back tomorrow? Call the Beatles. Uh, what? What? How long? All right. Thank you. What? Thank you. Call tomorrow. What? Tomorrow. Henry. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Early, early. No, no, no. Tomorrow morning. Liz, look, look. Uh, hold on. How are the morning? With who? Camille Juice? <laughs> Ain't no bitch here. All right. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. How are How are Yeah. Listen to me, okay? Wait, listen to me for one second, okay? Ask his girlfriend what he's drinking. He's so loaded off. Oh. What do you think he's drinking? I, I, I think he's drinking. I think he's back to vodka. Yeah. Hey, 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 no, go ahead, Henry. What do you want? Go, go make your point, Henry. Robin, Robin, Robin. Hold on a second, baby. All right. Make your point. Make my point, huh? All these assholes. Can I say assholes? Yes. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Just not quite. I mean, come on. Uh, 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 go, Henry. Uh, he's gone. Go ahead, Robin. Woo! You can't make fun of your nose. 